hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel my name is Kobe, and this is skytech digital now in today's video um like i said i'm going to talk about or uh, you know walk you through how i designed this um cryptocurrency website over here so um this is an investment website where we have all the plans and other stuff in it and uh, we also have um crypto widgets uh, placed on it and then you know some details about your company all about all on it now basically this is just um, a one page website and it's just the front end of the whole cryptocurrencies um, website so maybe you have a script already and then you don't like the script um, the interface of the script or maybe the front end of the script and then you want to design or redesign your own you know front end you can watch this video and then you know um, use it to design your what your front end so i did um, a quick um, you know um, um, overview of it um, the last time and i said if i reach 50 likes i'm going to drop this um, you know video so um i'm not going to talk too much about it um, i'm just going to jump ahead to it and then we start designing it so um this is the back end of the website and this is the plugin that we what we used so we use um three uh, four plugins um, basically the main one in designing it is the elementor and then um we have crypto currency widgets and then we also have um you know testimonial slider and showcase and then the pp form slide and then um i also use this website to um, you know um, get some of the widgets that you can you see on over here so for instance um, this one over here is from this website um, if you look at this one too over here is from that website and then maybe if you go down this one too is from you know this website so all what I did was to get a code from the website and then I um, basically you know inserted a code into um, the website that I created so um, this is basically the back end of it now a lot of you you know um, ask me to create videos about cryptocurrency um, where users can log in and a whole lot of blah 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 now WordPress don't have that kind of functionality you know Web WordPress basically um, is based on um, how do you call it um, 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 it's more or less like you know for you to create an agency website and a blog website it's not more or less like um having um uh, you design a whole script and a whole lot of stuff no that is not how wordpress is done so i will go ahead in the second episode of this tutorial i'll go ahead to use woocommerce to be able to what link all this um you know all the uh, um, um, the plans over here together so that users can be able to buy the plans using just wordpress without the script okay so i'll try my best to you know um, use some few plugins that i can use to create it and then also redesign the um, account woocommerce account uh, my account page to make sure that it suits a cryptocurrency page but it wouldn't be the same as a cryptocurrency you know script that um uh, well designed for it because there is no plugin for that kind of thing but i am going to uh, try my best what um to, to 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 redesign the whole account page to make sure that it's um, going to have um, some few wallets it's going to have you know um, um um how do you call it you know a support ticket whereby people can be able to reach out to you and it's going to you know have all those kind of few functionalities that um a cryptocurrency will also have so basically if it doesn't really meet what you want that is what i can do and that is and i know most of you can also be able to what, use that kind of thing to be able to help you um have your website the way you want it so but today's video is all about this front end and the next video we use this front end combined to the other one that i'm talking about so that we deal with it so let's jump into the video so um this is um a new wordpress installation now let's check it and then you know you see what i'm talking about um this is new there is nothing on it yeah as you can see it is very new there is nothing on it now 
um, you know most of my video i don't really go through the process of installing wordpress and other stuff because i know most of you over here knows how to install wordpress but if you don't know how to install wordpress i have some videos on this channel whereby you can be able to what um install wordpress on it so um we're gonna go back to the um, dashboard over here and then we start um red uh, designing our what our website the way we want it so if you are new over here i'll entreat you to like this video and then subscribe to the channel if you want me to create that website that i'm talking about whereby it will have a whole complete you know user dashboard and um, a whole lot of stuff you can you know um share this video and then also subscribe to the channel please subscribe to the channel and let's grow together now once again i want to say a big thank you to all my thousand subscribers and then those of you who also just joined um, I want to say thank you to you for coming and watching my videos. Um, I put in a lot of effort in creating these kind of videos. And I see a lot of you have asked me so many questions. Some of you reach out to me on um, WhatsApp and other stuff. I try my best to, what, to answer your questions and then to also help you if I can. Okay, if I can. That is if I have all the knowledge about it. Um, I'm experiencing, you know, WordPress, all right. But then there is nothing you always need to learn more i i can't know everything because there are more experienced people um there but i try my best to you know do videos in whatever i can um to help you guys to also what to also grow okay so um let's you know let's jump into it please subscribe to the channel please okay and thank you to my thousand subscribers now um the first thing that we, go, we always do is to do some few settings for wordpress so we go to um you know settings over here now before we even go that let's go to screen options okay let's untick all these things over here so that we get a clean dashboard okay like i always do so as you can see we have what a clean dashboard and then we come to settings over here and then um, we go to general settings and then we are going to what um, give a name for our website our website okay so the name for our website is going to be cryptocurrency marketplace so this is going to be our name okay and then um you know um the tagline um could be what investment or uh, let, let me see the tagline that i gave this one uh, buy okay so buy sell and invest in what cryptocurrency okay so um you know uh, um the WordPress address, make sure that it is your address of If it is um, HTTPS, make sure it is HTTPS, okay? Do not change anything over here. Please do not change anything over here. If you change it, you're messing around with your website. So just leave it as this. And then your admin email, you can put it over there. And then also your um, the user role default, just leave it as, a, as it is, okay? And then um, check, make sure that everything is correct. Your time zone. You check it your language you also check it okay so i want to change the time zone to Accra, okay because i'm in Accra right now and then um the date format make sure that it is as it is and then um the time format to make sure that y uh, you have um you know you select the one that you want and then wherever your week starts make sure that you change it and then if it is monday make sure that it is monday okay so after everything is done just click on what save changes over here and then um we are done with this general settings over here now the next one that we're going to talk about is the permalinks okay so we're going to go to our permalinks over here and then change it from day and name okay if it is plain just change it make sure that you have a post name as what as your permalinks okay now we use post names as permalinks because we want our links to be very simple and short we don't want it to include any date or any numbers or whatever it is we want it in such a way that it will be seo friendly okay so that um google can be able to crawl it or any other search engine can be able to what, crawl it so easily so that is why we always use what post name okay so that is why we use what post name okay so after you've selected your post name uh, make sure that everything is rightly as done as this one over here and then just click on what save changes to save your changes that you've what that you've made so um, now that we have this one done 
um, I think we are good to go to start creating our pages okay so um, the first thing um, that we're going to do is to create our home page so we hover over pages over here and then we click on what add new over here so after clicking on add new let's wait for it to open for us and then we create the home page that we want so as you can see over here this is just a one page what website okay so we're just going to use just one page to create our home page so um, we have the about us over here okay at the moment you click it it's going to uh, change to all the detail all the other um, you know sessions for you for you to know that it is just a one page that we are what that we are creating so now we're going to create um, the page and call it what home okay so let's call it home okay so now that we have this one done let's click on what publish because that is exactly what we want okay okay so now we've created our home page what next now the theme that we are using we don't want it okay we want a new theme now um to 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 be able to install a new theme what we need to do is to hover on what themes over here and then click on themes okay now as you can see the website is using just one theme which is the 2022 theme which is the default theme that comes with what and um, the installation of wordpress so what we are going to do is to install a new um, theme so we click on add theme over here now this website used um, the astra theme okay so that is what we're going to use now you see one thing i like about this one is everything that i used on this website is a free resource okay i didn't buy anything i'm not going to buy anything so that is what we are going to do exactly the same thing so what we are going to install is the astra theme now look through the uh, front page of the themes directory over here and then you see the astra theme now if you don't see the astra theme just type in astra over here okay and then um, it will search for it for it to what appear for you to install it so let's just hold on and let's just um, you know wait for it to what appear for us yeah so this is the astra theme over here this is the one that we are looking for now let's click on install over here okay so now that our theme is what um installed successfully um all what we have to do is to click on activate to activate the theme okay very good so we have the astra theme what um, installed and activated and that is um one step ahead okay we are good to go now the next one that we're going to do is to install some plugins to help us with um, be able to design the website the way we really want it so what plugins are we going to install um we're going to install the plug these four plugins over here okay so we're going to install the um, elementor first we're going to install the vp forms these are the main you know plugins that we need to be able to uh, design the website and then we also want to add some few add-ons to it um like the you know the um, cryptocurrency ticker and um, bar that is scrolling down there we will have to install this one to get that one and then we also need testimonials okay so on our website so we also have to uh, install testimonials um you know um, um plugin on our website so these are the the four plugins that we're going to install to start with the whole website itself so let's go to hover on plugins over here and then add new over here so we're going to search for elementor first okay so let's um search for elementor search for elementor over here and then um when it appears we just click on what so this is the one that we're going to use now we use this one to what um build our pages okay so we're going to use it to design our what our page the way we want it so click on install and then click on what activate okay so we have elementor installed and activated and elementor will bring you to this place for you to create an account and then you know do some few setup but i'm going to what um uh, click on close over here because i have an account on elementor already i don't want to go ahead to do all those things so um you know this is the overview of elementor and then we are done now it left with only um another three plugins that we have to install so let's click on add new plugin and then we go ahead to install those plugins to to help us to design the website the way we want it so we're going to search for wp forms so search for wp forms um you get a wp form light okay so this is what we're going to what we're going to install so click on it now you of course you can use any forms uh, any form builder that you would that you know but the bp forms is what we are going to use and then the next one that we're going to do is um to 
also install um, the cryptocurrency you know widget that we want so cryptocurrency widget and then testimonial slider showcase okay so let's search for crypto um, cryptocurrency cryptocurrency so cryptocurrency is one word okay so just search for cryptocurrency widget this one just like this one over here and then let's wait for it to what um load i don't know why my network is so slow but pardon me okay okay very good so this is the one that we are going to what um we're going to install it is from cool plugins okay they have a lot of um, nice cryptocurrency plugins which gives you some few widgets that you want to um you want to use okay so you can even have a donation box over here but this is what we want to use so let's click on what install and then the next one that we are going to install is the um testimonial slider testimonial so we're going to install this one testimonial slider in showcase okay so um where is it yeah over here so i'm gonna um just okay so we're going to install this one over here okay so this is from what radius team let's see if it is from the same radius team yeah so as you can see over here radius team okay so that is exactly what we're going to install so just click on it to install and then um now that we have installed this one also now let's go to installed plugins so under plugins we have installed plugins over here we see all our plugins that we have for installed now as you can see we haven't activated one two three so we're going to activate all these three okay so just uh, tick it and then click on bulk actions over here and then click on activate and then click on apply to it to activate all the three plugins okay guys so as you can see over here all the plugins are what successfully activated over here so um this is the landing page of the testimonials okay um page okay so um we have all the plugins what successfully activated now if you go and check all the installed plugins we realize that all the plugins are successfully what activated over there now now that we have our plugins activated so you see they are all activated okay so now that we have our plugin activated now you see a notice over here which says what hi blah 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 or hi kitech uh, please enter open exchange rates dot org free api key for crypto to fiat prices conversion so um we need this api key okay so this um is what um is giving us this information over here so we need to what this open exchange api key so click here to what to enter um, it will tell you to click here to enter the API key. So just click over there and then it will bring you over here. Now if you don't have the API key, don't worry. You can get it for free by clicking on this what on this link over here. It will send you to it um this page for you to what get it for free. So let let's go over there. So if you have already have an account, um you can what you can log in but if you don't have an account you need to what you need to sign up with with them okay i don't know why my network is so slow today so as you can see i already have an account with them okay um i already have an account because i've already created some few cryptocurrency websites which um you know i need I, I needed the api key so um if you don't have an account you have to what it will, it will tell you to what um you know sign up with them okay but because i already have an account okay i just need to what um copy the api keys and then what and then use it okay so i'll go to what api status over here and then check my api what status so guys as you can see i have um an api so this is the api status over here okay so now let me close this one and then come over here now where you see you see what they've written app ids over here okay so just click on the app id over here and then if you are new over here well, you know you have to create what um, an api key but i've already created for the free version they only give me two okay um so i've already created what um you know an api key over here so all what i need to do is just to copy um it and then i'll come back over here and then paste in my api key over here and i'll click on save changes okay so as you can see the message is gone because i've re i've what i've entered the correct api key so now that i have this one set up 
now the next thing that i want to do is what, to add a new widget okay so i want to what i want to add this um you know this widget which is scrolling down over here this one over here okay i want to add that one so that is what i want to add first before i even go ahead to uh, to create my page okay so i click on what add new widget over here and then i'm i'm going to name it ticker okay because it's going to be the ticker down there and then um with a widget type what am i going to um um uh, create i'm going to create this ticker over here okay then um with a um you know show coins so you can show any custom what coins that you want but i'm just going to show top 10 coins over here and then um select fiat currency yes i want the what the usd but you can select any um you know currency that you want if it is chinese japanese or whatever it is you can what select it but i'm going to select usd and then display um 24 hours that is it's optional if you want where do you want to place it i want to place it at the footer side okay and then the ticker position you can set the position in pixel and then the and the speed you can also set the speed in what um the sp the the speed as in high or low depending on how you want it it is what uh, miller uh, milliseconds okay so you can set it over there and then the background and then the font color so anyhow you want it you can what check it now i'm done with it i'm just going to what click on publish over here so so for those of you who have watched my previous cryptocurrency website you realize that we use this ticker in that website also it's very simple so as you can see that is what that is now if you click on a uh, visit site and then we check our website um, let's see if it is showing on our website yes so it is what it is showing over here okay so very well so we are done we are good to go okay so now let's go back and then go to what all pages over here so now as you can see guys we set up our page okay we set up one page okay now i'm going to delete um if you like you can leave this one because that is a privacy policy but i'm going to delete all these two because i don't really need them um i'm going to move them to what to trash okay i'm going to move them to trash and then after moving moving them to trash i'm going to trash and then to what to trash them out so um i will delete them what or i'll empty the trash okay so that one is what is good for me so i'm just going to empty the trash okay very good so i'm left it only one page which is the home page okay now i want to set my website in such a way that whenever whoever you know um land on my website the person will land on the home page straight away okay so to do that i'm going to hover on settings over here and then i'll go to what reading over here okay so just click on reading so i'm going to set the home page as a static what page okay so that is what i'm going to do so that is it this one okay i'm going to choose static page and then i'll choose the home page as home okay so the home that we created that is what we want to choose and then we want to what save the changes so now if if you refresh the website right now you see that it will not go it's not going to be like how it was but it's going to be just like this one because the home is now the what the home page now now that we have this one also done what do we do now the next one that we do is what um we're going to what um you know create or design our page okay so let's go to all pages and then this is our front page or this is our home page so let's click on it to edit it now we are going to let me close this one okay and then let me close this one also now we are going to design design the website just like this one over here as you see over here okay very nicely done over here okay we're going to do everything like this one very very nicely arranged and very nicely done okay so the first one that we're going to do is we're going to design the what the hero page or the hero session over here okay that is exactly what we're going to do so forget about this one we'll create them later on but let's create the hero session okay so with the hero session how do we create the hero session now we're going to use the home page now first of all let's change the te the template from default template to what elemental forward okay so make sure that you change it to elemental forward and then click on what update because we're going to use elemental to what to design it so change it to elemental full width and then click on update now that you've updated it now click on edit with elemental 
to start designing our page using what elementor okay guys so this is how elementor really looks like for those of you who doesn't know how elementor looks like um this is basically how elementor looks like if you want to use elementor to design your page or to design any post this is how it's going to be like so at the moment you click on edit with elementor um, you're going to come to a page similar to this one and then this side uh, the panel over here is what is the um, widget what panel okay so they have a lot of widgets over here some are pro some are what some are free okay you can what you can see it over here okay and then um also um with this side is where you what you design okay that is the space given to you for you to use what to design okay so you can use this one to what um to you know to view it in a full screen mode or to also what um, expand the what expand the panel okay so um basically if you want to um you know type something over here you just drag the widget and bring it over here and then use it and that is exactly how elementor works so um f if you are new over here just follow me as i go along and then i'll be able to uh, show you how this whole thing works now um like i said we're going to design this um you know section over here first okay so as you can see this is what a two column what session okay so we have um this side and then also what also this side over here okay um that is exactly how we are going to it we're going to design it so um let's come to home over here okay okay guys so if you come over here we're gonna click on this um you know plus sign over here okay so just click on this plus sign over here and then um these stretches are going to a display for you to choose from okay so we're going to choose this um one over here this two column structure over here okay so this is exactly what we're going to choose now click on this six um dots over here okay and then um this you know edit session will um, open for you but at the moment you choose um you know the, the session um this one will also will display for you now in case you don't sh you don't see this one just click over here to what uh, to this um to the display this one to this one is what called the edit what session okay yeah very good and this one um also add another session to it and this one also what delete the session so um basically that is it so what we're going to do is we're going to um you know change the height okay so for the height we want it to be what a minimum height of um let's say 600 okay because i want it to be a little bit big and then um i think everything is good to go now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to style over here and then from the style panel or from the style um you know tab i will click on what the um background and then the background i choose what the background type i choose the classic over here and then i um, i choose an image now at the moment i don't have any image on my website okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to what um you know select some image from my laptop so that is exactly what i'm going to do so um i'm going to go to where my images are so i'm going to go to desktop over here and then i'll look for my um, crypto template over here and then um i'm going to select the images that i want to use okay so i want to select all the images or choose all the images or bring all the images over here okay so what i'm going to do is um let me let me just you know select all the images that i will be using for the website so that it wouldn't be like i'm now going up and down for those same what images okay so i'm just going to what um select them okay so let me see let me select this one and then um let me choose this one also let me choose this one let me choose this one and then let me choose this one also so for now i think this is okay if i need another one i'll just come for it okay so i'll, I'll i can drag it in or since it is already in um i'll just click on what open okay so now let me close it because it is what it is loading over here so i'm update i'm uploading my what my images on my website okay so as you can see over here it is what it is uploading so i'm going to wait for it to upload and then i'll see you in the next side okay guys so um our pictures are our images are you know have been uploaded successfully 
and then um, I'll leave a link in the description if you want the images you can go and then ahead and download them if you want them okay so our first image that we want to use is this one over here okay so just click on it and then insert media we, we are going to insert it at the background okay so because we want it to be at our background so as you can see very nicely done and then um, the position we're going to say center center and then um, with the attachment we're going to leave it default with the repeat we're going to say no repeat and then with the size we are going to say cover okay so that it will pick all size of the what of the background so very nicely it is done okay so we are good to go so let's let's check out so as you can see um this image have what um an overlay okay so we are going to what give it a background overlay so we're going to go to background over here and then we are going to you know choose a background type which is classic as always and then we're going to um choose the color instead of picture image we're going to choose what color and then we're going to give it a dark you know overlay okay so make sure that you give it um, an overlay that you want and then the opacity you can play around it um, anyhow you want it it depends on you so i'm going to leave it at six over here okay so now that um, i'm done with this place i'm going to come over here okay so over here i'm going to click on this plus icon over here and then what i'm going to do is um it's going to open this you know widget panel for me and then i'll drag in um you know an inner widget over here okay i'm going to drag in an inner widget over here because um, i want to use the inner widget as what as a um, um, how do you call it a b button two different buttons over here okay so over here uh, i'll still click click on this grip icon over here again and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring a heading on top of this inner widget okay so i'm going to bring um you know about um, a heading over here now with the heading i'm going to write welcome to crypto market so i'm going to copy this one copy it come over here and then i'll say welcome to okay now i'm going to style it so i'll go to style and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the text color to white okay so make sure that you change your text color to and the typography i'm going to use monseret okay so those of you who knows me you know that i like this um, um you know typography font family okay guys so i'm going to choose monseret okay so um let me just you know click here and then write in monseret so i'm going to choose this one over here so welcome to blah 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 and then i'm going to choose 35 for it and then you can reduce the you know um the width okay the way you want it the weight sorry the weight the way you want it okay so um basically this is it now what i can do is i can also um you know duplicate it i can just duplicate this one over here okay and then just um you know copy um crypto market crypto market as it is right here come over here and then paste in this one over here now with this one even though i'm going to choose monster i will increase the um the size to let's say 55 or even 80 okay 80 is too much so let's say nine um you know 70 or 75 okay and then i'll increase the um, the weight to let's say 70 so then i have to reduce the weight okay so it depends on how you want it okay so you can even decide to drag it a little bit this way okay now i don't know why my um, inner session is gone so i'm going to bring the inner session here again um, over here just over here again here so um with the next one we have some um, you know text over here so we're going to bring in a text widget okay so i'm going to copy this one and then go back over here and then click on this thing over here and then bring in this text widget underneath um the crypto market so 
very good so it is done I'm gonna paste this um, you know words over here so you can write any words that you want to write but I'm just using a dummy um, words so or dummy text so I'm gonna increase the um, I'm gonna change the the color to white and then with the typography I'm still gonna choose Montserrat for it so that it will be unique throughout so everything it's gonna be Montserrat and then the font I'm gonna write 16 and then with the width I'm gonna choose uh, 500 for it so um, I think um, we are we are going places we are heading somewhere okay so what we can do is we can just you know uh, make this place instead of four something something we can make it like 40 percent here and make um, this place 60 percent okay so we make it 60 percent so i think that is that is good and then we can increase this font size we can increase it to let's say 80 or even more if we can so let's say 85 is okay so if you check it and then um, it's not the way we want it yeah 85 is quite okay yeah so now the next one is for us to bring our buttons so as you can see we have these two buttons over here okay so that is what we're gonna do so um click on this grip icon over here or you can decide to click on this plus sign and then we are going to drag in a button widget okay so we're going to drag in this button widget over here inside the um make sure that it is inside um, you know one of the columns of the inner session um if it doesn't fall in just make sure it goes in it okay um sometimes it behaves some way okay so um basically we have this one done now what is written over there it says what learn more and then register so here says what um learn more okay so um i'm going to leave the link as it is i'm not going to link it yet and then um, i'm going to go to the style over here so click on style and then the typography uh, i'm going to change it to montserrat from Roberto to Montserrat. Um, Montserrat. Okay, very good. And then I'll increase the size to let's say 20. So that will be a little bit bigger. And um, 500 or 600 will be okay. It depends on you. And then, um, yeah, I think this is quite okay. And then I'll come back to the background. Okay, so with the text color we're gonna make it white and then with the background color we're gonna make it a yellow color okay so uh, depends on you what kind of yellow that you want you make sure that you make it the way you want okay so i want to make it just like a crypto um you know color okay so it depends on you how you want it yeah so i think um this one is a bit dull okay so this is correct this is okay so um i'm just going to you know i'm just going to save it okay i'm going to add it to my colors because i'm going to use this one okay as my primary color primary okay so i'm going to create it and then add it to my global colors okay so i'm um, basically i have this one done now let me see let me check how it looks like so um we can you know do something about it okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlink, I'm going to remove all the padding from it. So just like this one, I'm going to remove all the padding. And then I'll give it a top padding of, let's say, 20. Um, right padding of 20. Bottom 20. Left 20. Yeah, just like this one. Okay. So I think it's okay. Then with the border radius. I'm not gonna give it any border radius. I just want it to be a square button. Okay, yeah, perfectly done. So um, I'm I don't want more space to be over here. So what I'm gonna do is, okay, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce, you know, um, the interval a little bit because it is too big. 
okay and then um, I think it's okay yeah this one is quite okay I'll just let me let me close it okay so I'm gonna close it so I will just be yeah so this is okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it you know um, a border okay solid border and then I'm gonna give it a solid border of of just one okay and then I'm gonna give it a global color which is um, the pr primary color okay so yeah so this is quite okay it's all right okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this one and then paste it over here okay and then I'll do some few changes with it yeah so I have these two buttons you know side by side now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click over here and then go to style to style that kind of button now if you look at this one um, this one have what register written in it and I also have a transparent background with the border around it so with the color what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna what um, make it transparent okay and then with the border um, I'm gonna make it white so I'm gonna make it this white okay so that it's gonna be something like this so as you can see it is something like this but I just need to what increase the um, you know the border radius a little bit so what I'm gonna do is just increase it a little bit so yeah this is quite okay now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, write in it register okay so um, I think we are good to go yeah everything is done everything is okay yeah now if you wanted to have this corner you know corner radius thing you can still make it have now all what you need to do is to go into the um, you know the style tab over here and then with the border radius you can give it any border radius that you want so let's say you want to give it you know some few corner radius over here so let's say um, you want to give it all around corner of let's say 20 you can see it is working or 10 okay but i don't want to give it any border radius that is why i gave it zero okay over there so this is the button i'm going to use throughout okay so now that i have it this one done so now that i have this one done the next one is what is to bring in this image that we see over here so how do we bring in this image all what you need to do is click on this plus button over here now after clicking the on the plus button just drag in this image widget into this column drag it in and then click on it and then select the select this image okay this is what we're going to use select it now it doesn't have a background because i've you know deleted or edited it to remove the background from it so this is how the image looks like okay this is how it looks like okay but you see this one have this kind of shape over here okay so all what we need to do is what to be able to do that kind of shape and how do we do it go to the style of the image okay and then um, with the border type we're gonna give it none and then with the border radius just unlink this one and then give it a left border radius of let's say um, let's say 50 and see how it does so 50 doesn't reflect okay so then let's give it a bottom border radius of 50 and let's see so you see that is the bottom not the left okay so we're gonna give it let's say 120 so 120 also doesn't give it so let's say 220 so 220 is quite all right but let's move ahead and say 250 okay so i think 250 is quite similar to the one over here okay so it could be 250 or 240 or whatever it is but it is quite similar to what we have over there so let's say 240 yeah so um we are also done after doing this session all what we need to do is to click on what update to update it okay so we are we are done with it we are done with this session so as you can see 
um, our, our, you know, our, how do you call it? Um, hero session is what is done. Okay. Now, don't worry about the header because um, this header is using a transparent header. Okay. Now, we need to create all our page. We need to design our page first before we can be able to what, um, you know, adjust it to make the transparent header work. But we can go ahead and go to advance over here and give it a top and down margin or top and down pattern, sorry, of let's say 120 and then also the bottom margin 120. Okay, now I'm doing this in such a way that if we do the, um, you know, the, um, the header, okay, transparent, we will still have space to what to breathe, okay. So even with the 120, I think it's not good. So let's say 180, so that there will be more space to what to breathe. And let's click on what update. Okay, so let's leave it here as it is. Okay, or let's continue. Let's continue. So um, let's go to the next session. So with the next session, as you can see, we have what we have this one over here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over here. I'm going to click on this one and then open it in a new link just to see um, you know the link over here okay now um, this is exactly it's taking us to what the um, you know the website which shows us what um, which is displaying this kind of what widget for us okay so as you can see the website is called what crypto compare.com okay crypto compare.com and this is the website so the one I clicked on was what the ethereum okay so as you can see it took us to the what the ethereum page over here now this is not what we want but i just wanted to know where the w um, you know it is um, the website that is giving us that widget okay but this is not what we want so what we want is how to display the widget so to display that kind of widget let's scroll down okay just scroll down to the footer session over here okay now you see developers over here you are a developer because you are developing your website so you need widgets to be able to help you develop the website so click on the widget over here okay so at the moment you click on the widget it will take you to you know how to create your own widget or how to embed um you know the cryptocompare.com widget on your website okay so as you can see um this is all the widgets so this is a type of widget that they have over here okay so which one are we looking for which one are we looking for now we are looking for this widget over here this one is what we are looking for so as you can see it gives us all the what all the kind of what um, things that we want so how do you want to display it this the display do you want to display it in a dark mode like this or you want to display it as the default okay so the one that we are using is what the default one so what we are going to do is just you know copy the colors m um, the the code over here just copy the code okay or click to copy to clipboard over here copy to clipboard over here and then come to your um you know your website where you are designing it now um just um you know add a new session we're going to add a single column session over here okay now with a single column session um let's give it you know a little bit of a margin so we're going to give it a margin of let's say um, um 90 is too much so let's say um 30 yeah 30 down 30 30 down okay and then i'm going to give it a button i'm going to unlink this one unlink this one just unlink it and then give it a bottom of what 90 so um top 30 bottom 90 okay now that i have this one done i'm going to click on this again and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to um, search for you know i can search for short code i can search for short code or i can search for html okay just search for ht html so if i search for this html i can drag it over here okay and then i'll put in the i'll paste in the html code that i copied into it okay now don't worry don't worry well it's not showing so don't worry okay just you know update it just update it 
okay don't worry if it's not showing but just update it to work okay now after you update it you can go ahead and then you know view your page to see if it is showing or not okay so as you can see it is showing over here perfectly done okay so we have all our uh, things showing over there and it is what moving the way we want it okay so we are done with that one okay so the next one that we're gonna do we're gonna check out is what the about us page or the about us okay so as you can see this is a two column word session okay so that is exactly what we're gonna do so we're gonna create the two column session so we click on the uh, plus um, you know icon over there and we select the two column session over here okay now if you look at this one if you look at this one um it have a heading and then some few things over here so that's exactly what we're gonna um you know get so we're gonna copy this one come over here um click on the grip icon over here and then bring in a heading okay we're gonna bring in a heading and then we are going to type in what about us okay now that we have done we go to style we click on the style on the style tab over there and then we change the color okay to um kind of like a deep brown color okay yeah something like this okay and then um because we will be using the color we want to add it to what our global colors okay so i'm going to call it primary two okay and then i'll click on what uh, create to create it and then after that i'm going to go to um here and then select Montserrat. Okay, so I'm gonna select Montserrat, and then I'll I'll change the size to let's say 35. Okay, 35 is okay, and then the um the weight two is what the weight two is okay. Why do I keep saying weight 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 two is okay? Okay, now that we're done with this one, now let's click on um, the grip icon over here, and then drag in a text you know widget over here okay so um, I'm gonna go over here and then just copy this text over here okay I'm gonna copy this one come over here and then come and paste it over here. so this is a dummy text okay this is just a dummy text now that I have this dummy text you know um, over here okay now that i have this dummy text over here uh, as you can see the dummy text is very bold so i'm going to go to the style tab and then i'm going to uh, change the um, you know the text to the color to uh, deep black and then um i'm going to go to the um, you know the color um the typography over here and then change the typography to the same Montserrat. okay i'm going to change it to Montserrat. And then I'll come to the size and then I'll make it, um, you know, size 16. And then the weight, I'm going to make it very bold. So I'm going to make it, um, you know, 800 is too bold. So let's say 600. Um, it's quite okay. Um, 700 is quite okay. Okay. Or you can decide to make it 600 depending on how you want it. But I think 700 is what it's quite okay. And then the transform and every other things, I'm going to make it what as default, okay? And then the transform and other things, I'm going to make it as default, okay? So this is um, just as the default si size, okay? So um, everything is quite okay. So the next one is what? So what? Also, um, where is it? This one. The next one is also um, just, you know, this text. So I'm going to copy this one over here. I'm going to copy this one and then come to here and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to duplicate this one okay so i'm going to duplicate it now when i duplicate it okay um i think i don't even need to paste it all what i need to do is to just you know style it okay so instead of um that kind of deep as you can see i'm going to give it a very light you know color and then change um the the weight to let's say 600 which is quite okay okay so i think this is also okay yeah just quite okay 
yeah i think this is this is okay so i have this one done but as you can see there's a lot of space over here okay and that is what i don't want so i'm gonna click on this one over here and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go back to advance over here okay and then you know i'm gonna um remove some kind of like padding or margin from it okay so first let me unlink this one and i'm gonna give it a negative margin of 20. so as you can see um the margin is what gone the space is gone over there so um i think this one is quite okay okay so so now that i have this one done now the next one is what is this one this guy over here uh, mining the um you know the bitcoin so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on this plus icon over here and then i'm going to drag in uh, what um an image widget in this one okay and then with the image widget i'm going to drag in this gif icon that or uh, gif image that what we uploaded okay and i'm going to insert it over here so as you can see we have this guy also what done so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on this and then come to vertical alignment and then position it to middle okay very good so now, now that i have this one also set up i can click on what update to update it okay so our cryptocurrency website is taking shape everything is what's coming in our home page is what is coming in you can you know you can be rest assured that you'll be making money from this website if you what you design it well to suit your customers okay and it depends on the words that you're going to put in 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 the in the in the website you definitely make money if you put in good words in the what in the website so make sure that you your website have what good um, you know about us and then all the other things should be what should be catchy and then should be what friendly to and then should be also be what um, eager to help people to be able to what to make good money okay and that is all what it is about what cryptocurrency okay so our next um section that we're gonna create is is um <coughs> sorry is this one over here okay so we're gonna um insert this widget in our on um on our website or in our website okay so that is exactly what we're gonna create right now so um to do that we will go to the crypto compare website over there and then also what we're going to do is we're going to look for that um let me refresh it so that we see um you know what we are going to look for so if you if you go over here um it is a bitcoin um you know um, widget okay so that is what we're going to look for okay so we're going to look for a uh, bitcoin widget which shows the graphs and all those things um that is the changes in um you know the bitcoin so that is exactly what we're going to look for so let's hold on uh, for it to load and then we'll copy the widget and then we'll go and paste it on our word on our website okay guys so now that we um, we have it over here now what we're going to look for is um, we can decide to choose this one this one okay so if you look through you can see the graph um, over there you can decide to choose this one or this one okay so we're gonna use um, this one, which is the um, you know the chat widget, okay? So that is exactly what we're gonna. You can even use the advanced chat, um, you know, chat advanced, okay? But what we're gonna use is this one, which is a chat widget over here, and then we're gonna insert that widget in our website, okay? So um, what we have to do is just copy it, okay? So this is where we're gonna um, insert it. So just make sure that you copy it so i'm going to copy um this one okay i'll copy it and then um i'll come to my website over here okay and then i'll also um you know create a um you know a session okay i'm going to create a one column session over there um with this one column session i'm going to insert um i'll go to advance over here okay and then i'll give it a top and down margin of let's say 90 okay and then i'm going to insert um an html widget in it so i'm going to set for html okay i'm going to just place in this 
so that I can put in the HTML code in code in it. Okay, so um, I'm gonna put this HTML in this um, session over here. So hold on, let it load. Okay, very good. So now that it is there, then I can paste in my code that I copied in it. Okay, so I have the code copied over here nicely. So I have the code copied here nicely. Okay, so I'm just going to update it. And then after that, I'm going to my website to refresh the website to see if the changes that I made is the same thing that I want on it. So let's refresh the website to see if the changes um, have taken effect or not. Okay, so let's scroll down. And as you can see, um, this is the widget, okay? This is the widget that we see over here. But I think this one is quite different from um, this one over here. So it means that this is not what we are looking for, okay? This is not what we are looking for. So it means that we're going to um, look for the advanced one, okay? Or we can go through and see the ones that we think it is correct. If it is, we try this one. It is not the news feed. So then I'm sure it's going to be the advanced chat widget over here, okay? So, um, if you want to capture an email address on chat, blah, 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 make sure that you have a global function called there. Uh, yeah, so it is not this one also, because this is more advanced. It is not this one also. So we have to make sure that we get the one that we are looking for, okay? Um, let me see. So let me check this one also and see if it is the one that I'm looking for it is not this one also so definitely it's going to be this one okay or better still I can go over here and then you know just um, to make sure that I'm getting the right one so as you can see it is not from the what from the crypto compare okay so if I click over here you know if if you click on this one cryptocurrency prices buy coin um, is a coin label or something yeah definitely so I can I can get this from what the coin dot io okay so um, this is the coin dot io's website okay so over here we can what we can also locate um, where they they can you know they can showcase the widget okay so um, you look through for you know um, Bitcoin widget okay so as you can see add prices to your site okay so you see that it is over here Bitcoin widget okay so if you're a developer and you want those kind of things you need to make sure that you open your eyes well to be able to search through such website which provide those kind of widgets for you to integrate it into your what into your website so we're gonna click on this one so that we will locate the widget and then we're gonna copy the code and then we set it on our what, on our website. Okay, very good. So, um, so you look at the widget that you want, and then you what you pick it. Um, so let's let let the um, you know the widget load finish loading, and then we can what. So this is what, um, you know it shows all the prices. Okay, yeah, this is the one that we are looking for. This one over here. Okay, as you can see, it is similar to what, to this one. Okay, so this is the one that we are looking. It means that the one that we copied over here, the one that we copied over here is not the one that we are looking for. So this is exactly the one that we are looking for. So you see this code over here. Okay, yeah. So you can decide to play around it. You can change the coin type. You can change the um, you know the prices, um, in the currency the price currency any currency that you want you can put it over there and then um, if you want it to be on a dark mode you can what just play around it and then you get it the code will what will change okay so basically um, that is it I want it to be in a, a light mode so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to what um, click to what copy okay so copy the code below so what we have to do is just you know um, highlight all of them all the, all the code and then just copy it okay now when you copy it just come over here and then highlight 
all this code and then delete it just delete it and then paste the one that you what you um you copied over here okay so we have this one you know um, loading for us which will um, give us the one that we want okay so if you search it this is how it's going to be okay now to make it um full width because we want it to be what full width all what we need to do is just click over here okay and then make sure that you you make the layout what full width okay so go to layout and then instead of box make it full width okay just make it full width okay and then just update it so after you update just go back to your um your front end to uh, to refresh it to see if um it's the effect that you want is showing over there so let's hold on and see how it is behaving okay so as you can see we have what a full screen thing over here okay very nicely what very nicely done okay so that is exactly what we wanted okay so it is what it is showcasing for us over here so now we have this one also done now the next one that we are going to you know do is this session over here okay so as you can see um, we have this beautiful session over here which have a heading and then you know some few tests over here and then a register button and then some more um, some boxes over here okay so that's exactly what we're going to do so we're going to go to home over here and then we're going to create um, two column widget over here so we're going to click over here and then you know don't worry about this one okay because this one picks the um, because it is HTML that we are using it wouldn't show um, over here but then it goes down to show over here okay so don't worry about this one it wouldn't show on the front end okay so don't worry so I'm gonna pick this two um, column structure over here after picking the two column structure um, what I want to do is um, I'll click on this one over here and then I'm gonna um, you know add a heading widget in it so I'm gonna add a heading widget and then I'll go to um, my website um, the the one that we are creating and then I'll copy this heading okay come over here and then paste it over here okay so uh, we trade for you does it and then I will style it okay so I'm gonna style it the way I want it so I'll go to style and then I'm gonna pick the black color um, using the black or the dark color so let's see how it, 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 it is so as you can see this is a little bit lighter and this is what a little bit bolder okay so let me let me also copy this one let me copy it and then come over here okay and then let me just duplicate this one over here so I'm going to duplicate this one over here and then um, I'm going to just you know paste this one over here so now that I have this one pasted over here now I will style this one okay so I'm going back to the first one so that I'm going to style it well so I'm going to go to typography okay and then and then I'll choose a typography that I want okay so I'm going to choose Montserrat like I always do always and then I'll select it um, reduce the size a little bit or uh, let's say let me keep the size but let's make it like 20 or uh, 20 is too small so let me make it like 25 okay so 25 is okay and then I'm gonna reduce it to 400 okay the the weight to 400 so if I reduce the weight to 400 I'm gonna make it 30 okay yeah this is okay this is quite okay and then um if I'm done with this one I'll come to the what the benefit of um, trading with us I'll go to the style over here okay I know it's blur but don't worry about the blurness it is the network that is making it that way okay so what I'm gonna do is let me see yeah so so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the typography to um, Montserrat 
I'm gonna change the typography to Montserrat. Okay, so let's change it to Montserrat, and then let's make it a little bit bigger. So this one is 35. This let's make this one 40. Okay, so um, this one is 40. So let's make it like let's say 38. Yeah, so 38 is quite okay. So 38 is quite okay. So um, we make it 38, and then the weight is also okay. Or uh, we can decide to uh, change the weight from uh, 600 to 500, depending on what you want. Okay, so let's say the weight is what is okay, and then um, even the 38, we can make it like 36 or 37, depending on how we want. So um, this is quite okay. Okay, so after we have it this way, I think it's okay. So let's just you know up update it. And then refresh the website, okay? Because I don't understand why it is what it is blur over here. So let's refresh the website. Okay, so now that the website is refreshed, let let me go down. So yeah, as you can see, everything is now what is now working. Even the bottom one over here is gone. Okay, so um, now we have everything set up. Now the next one that we're going to do is um, to bring in it. Um, you know a text widget over here so i'm going to drag in a text widget underneath this heading widget okay so underneath this heading yeah this one i'm going to drag in this one over here okay now that i have this one done um, i'm going to go back to my website the website over here and then i'm going to copy this one okay i'm going to copy this one and then bring it over here and then paste it now of course you can write your own words over there okay um you don't need to write the same thing that i'm i've written over here okay so now that i have this one i'm just going to uh, style it um the way i want it okay so um with a with a um you know with a color i'm going to choose um this color okay so 2a 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 okay so i'm going to save it so that i can use it across okay so um text color okay okay very good and then with the um typography i'm going to what i'm going to use the montserrat okay so montserrat and then the size i'm going to use 16. okay very good so now that i have this one done the um the weight 400 is quite okay and then transform is also okay so um you can decide to um you know change the weight from 400 to 500 it depends on how you want it okay so let's say 500 is okay so now i want to save this with text okay so i'm going to click over here and then say maybe um text okay just text so that is it so now that i have this one done um the next one is you see if you look at this one um this one have what you know um a divider over here okay and i'm going to use the divider in, um, and bring it over here so i'll click on this grip icon over here and then i'll drag in a divider okay so this one and then i'll place the divider over here underneath the the heading okay so as you can see it is what a very long word divider okay but i want to what, reduce the um the weight to let's say um let's say 20 20 percent okay so let's say 20 percent okay or you can make it what um pixel okay so depending on it depends on how you want to make it so with a pixel let's say let's make it like 50 pixel and see how it behaves so 50 pixel is quite bad so we're gonna make it like hundred pixel, okay? So hundred is okay, hundred pixels is so is okay, and then we're gonna go to style over here, and then we're gonna style the what, um, the divider, okay? So it is black, it's okay. We're gonna increase the, the weight to, let's say two point five. Let's look at how um it changes. So two point five. Why is it not reflecting? Okay, so it is behaving that w same way. Yeah, so it is now, um, you know, okay. So 2.5 is okay. So um, I think this is okay. So I can click on what update to update it. Okay, 
now the next one is to bring in a button okay so with the button all what i'm going to do is i'm going to um, copy this button from here so i right click it so just right click it and then click on copy scroll down and then paste in the button over here just paste okay yeah very good and then what is written on the button is what register now so what i'm going to write is what register now so that is exactly what is what written on the button so register now so um i think we are good to go now the next one is to bring um this you know how do you call it um um for these four icon boxes over here okay so we have um you know fund security daily profit fast withdrawal 247 what support okay so what we're going to do is um we are going to bring in what some inner widget over here okay so i'm going to bring this inner widget over here uh, inner session widget over here okay so I have this one done. Now I'm going to what um click over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring an icon box. So let's say box. You can type in icon box, but I'm writing box so that all the boxes will what will pop up. And then I'll drag in the icon box over here. Okay, so now that I have this icon box over here, what I'm going to do is um this one says what fun security, right? So I'll copy this one come over here and then change the heading to what fun security and then the um the description says what your fund is what 100 percent secured so i'll copy it come over here and then paste it over here your fund is what 100 percent secured now i'm going to change the icon to what to a lock okay so I'll search for any lock. Now let me look at the lock that I use. So this is just a normal lock. So I'm going to use this one. And then I'll put it over here. Okay. So now that I have the lock done, I'll go to style to, uh, to style it. Okay. So make sure that you style it. So um, we're going to use um, this, you know, primary color too. Okay. And then um, for the size, we can make it let's say 30 let's make it 30 yeah and then for the spacing you can either reduce the spacing the way you want it okay now that we have this one done let's go to the content now if you look at this one it is what pure um, black okay the heading is black so um, with a with a title okay so what we're going to do is um, we're going to choose, um, you know, the team color black, okay, and then with the um, typography, we are going to change it to what? We're going to change the font family to um, to Montserrat, to Montserrat over here, and then we can change the size to any size that we want. So let's say twenty. Okay, so 20 is quite, quite okay. And then um, the size, the weight, the weight is also okay. Okay, so now let's go to, um, you know, description. So I'm going to use the text, okay, the text color. Okay, and then um, the typography too. I'm going to use the text. Okay, so I think it's also quite okay yeah but let's reduce the typography a little bit because um the size a little bit because with this even though everything is okay but you realize that this is quite smaller than what than what we need so um so this is 14 is also okay so now that we have this one now the next one is to give um you know the icon the icon box um room to breathe okay so what we're going to do is we're going to give it um, a pattern, all round pattern of what, of 20. So let's give it all round pattern of 20. Okay. So 20 is even, okay. So what I'm going to give is I'm going to give a top of, um, uh, let's, let's give it an all round pattern of 30. Let's say 30. 
and see how it behaves yeah so i think 30 is what quite okay okay so 30 is quite okay so now the next one that we're going to do is we're going to go to um border over here and then instead of giving it a border radius we're going to give it a box shadow and let's see how it behaves so as you can see there is a kind of like a shadow over there okay so now that we have this shadow done um we can you know give it a um border radius of let's say 20. okay so something like this to make it very nice okay so now that we have it, it done now what we're going to do is we're just going to what um copy this one paste it over here just paste it over here to make it what um you know double okay so two and then we can um, decide to duplicate um either the whole thing itself okay so let's say we want to duplicate the whole inner session okay so let's duplicate the whole inner session to make it to what um double okay so so that we're gonna have something like this so now what we can do is we can just click over here just click over here and then change this one okay so what what is this one saying daily profit okay so we just copy it come over here and look for uh, money we're gonna look for money and then let's put in this money sign okay and then let's go over here and say what and say daily profit okay so we can you know put in anything that we, we do the same thing to this one okay i'm not going to go through that one now the next one that we're going to do is the next session over here so after doing so the next session is these two sessions over here so after doing what we um what we did over here then we have to what, update it okay so just click on update to what, to update it now what um the next one that we are going to do is to do um these two sessions over here okay so these two sessions are basically similar sessions okay so um these two columns are basically um you know similar columns so what we're going to do is go over here and then um i want to duplicate this one because i want to use um you know the the, the heading and then the style of what of the of the session okay so i'm duplicating the whole session itself so i right click on those six dots and then um you know click on what duplicate okay so as you can see i have duplicated it so what i want to do is um i will delete almost all of them um leaving this ones over here so what i want to do is i want to click over here okay and then go to advance okay and then i'll give a top and down margin of 90 okay so that there will be space around it so now i'm going to what um delete this inner section over here okay and delete this one also okay now um i'm going to uh, duplicate this one i'm going to duplicate the column okay to make it what um two but as you can see at the moment i made i duplicated we have three columns so i'm going to do um delete the last one okay so i'm going to delete this last one over here so now i have this one done now what i need to do is i need to delete um this one and then also delete this one okay and then also delete this one and then also delete this one okay so now i have these two um you know um, beautiful columns over here now if you go over here you see that we have what um these two things written over here okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this one over here copy it come over here and then you know um change this one change the wording over here okay just paste it over here and then come again over here and then you know copy this one also come back to what to um the um you know the benefit and then the second heading and then also what paste it over here now the same way i'm gonna do this one i'm gonna click on the pencil icon go back to um our um, demo website 
you know copy this one come back to our main website and then paste it over here okay and then go back again copy the Bitcoin okay come back to our main website and then click this one click on it and then you know just paste it over here so as you can see we have it what set up okay now don't worry about the um how do you call it the divider okay it will show it's just that um, it's having some glitches but then it, when you go to the front end it will show so don't worry so we just click on update so just you know click on update to update it after um let it you know update the internet is so slow but don't worry everything will work out okay so now that we have updated it okay now if you see over here this one have what um, two videos over here we're gonna paste these two videos over there okay so what we're going to do is just copy the video link okay the video url okay so we're gonna copy this video url come back over here and then i click on this um you know grip icon over here and then um drag in a video widget over here okay so search for video and then drag in this um, video widget over here okay so when the video um show pops up over here now this edit video session over here paste in the link that you what that you copied okay so the same way come over here copy the video url okay just copy the video url not the video um url at the current time so i'm going to copy the view now you can copy any you can use any video of your choice okay but i'm using this video that is why you can use any video at, of your choice that you want um you can go to youtube and then you maybe you have your own kind of video that you want to use you can use it okay so the same way i will um you know um just copy this one and then paste it over here just paste the um, the widget over here i'm just copying and pasting okay so just like that and then i'll come over here and then pasting um the new you know link that i copied okay so uh, what it will have you know a new um, video displaying over here okay so now that the video um i have done these two uh, columns over here what i want to do is just click over here just click on this six dot over here and then i'll go to the layout okay and then um what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it to a column gap okay i just want um a wide column gap okay so that will be kind of like a, a column gap over there okay okay very good so now that i have this one set up just click on update okay just click on update and then um after the the um, you know the website is updated we can go ahead and then what um, view it on the front end so let's wait for it to finish updating okay so now that it is it has finished updating let's go to the front end so this is our front end okay this is our front end now what we're going to do is we're just going to what refresh it let's refresh it so guys if you are new over here please um subscribe to the channel for me i try as much as possible to create um, good content for you guys to enjoy and then for you guys to also use to um you know upgrade your businesses and then also to make money online okay so this is basically a cryptocurrency website which um you can you know set it up to make your money online okay so um since you want to make money online and you want to stick to this channel please um try as much as possible to like the video and then share the video subscribe also if you haven't subscribed share it to your friends and family so that they can also make money together using the cryptocurrency um template or website that i what i'm creating over here so now that you have this one done perfectly so as you can see we have all um everything looking what looking nicely done just like the main website that we are what that we are watching on it so everything is what everything is on course so our next one is also to place this um you know crypto um currency widget 
over there okay so what we're going to do is um go back to um this website which is the um coin lib okay so just um you know go back to coin lib and then from coin lib now we're going to search for um a widget okay we're going to search for um, a widget that we are going to what display so let me look at that widget okay so we're going to display this widget okay so where is it so let me let me let me search for that widget okay so basically i think it's this widget okay so um this is what we're going to display so we're going to display what um the full width okay so it should be um full width let's let's look at how the full width looks like on the demo side okay so this is how the full width looks like okay so very nicely this is what we want okay this is exactly what we want so let's go over here and then this is the code okay so what we're going to do is we just want to copy it okay so just um you know highlight on it and then copy it and then come back to your your um elementor um you know page builder where you are designing your home page now click um over here now you can decide to even come over here okay um and then you know copy this whole widget um this whole session okay just right click on it and then copy it okay and then come over here and then paste the whole you know um session over here okay just paste the whole session over here and then um click on this pencil icon okay just click on the pencil icon the html code will display for you now it's uh, of course this is not what we want so we want to what clear this one and then paste in our our code okay our new code so what we're going to do is we're going to paste the new code over here and we are good to what to go so all what we need to do is just click on what update okay and then we are good to go so we have what um our crypto you know coins displaying the what all the um the prizes and other stuff on it okay so basically that is it so now that we have this one also done um our next session that we're going to do is to um do this crypto card session okay so we're going to display a card over here and then we're going to display some few words over here now if you can see this is similar to um this side okay so we don't have to even you know um, worry ourselves to design the whole thing so what we can do is we just copy the whole session as we did for this one so i'm going to go up over here and then you know come over here and then right click on this six um you know um dots over here and then click on copy okay now come to um this place okay underneath the underneath the um how do you call it underneath the um the coins over here okay and the coins widget and then just paste in um you know what we copied just just paste it over there okay just paste it over there okay so now that we've pasted it over there so as you can see we have this one okay now of course we don't want this one so what we will do is what we will click on this pencil icon okay and then we're going to delete this um gif icon or gif icon over here uh, image over here and then we we select our own image that we want okay so we want the crypto card image so where is it this one over here okay now all the images that i'm using in this website i'm going to what put a link down there for you so that if you need it you can also what you can also have it okay now let's look at how this page is designed so um this session is designed so if you go over here it is having what um crypto card over here um the crypto card so it means that this is an icon what an icon box with some few things over here okay so um of course let's go over here and then instead of this um heading widget we will search for what an icon um you know box okay so let's say icon let's look for icon okay so i'm going to search for icon box and then i'm going to drop the icon box beneath the what the about us page uh, the about us okay not the page okay 
so I'm going to delete this one over here I'm going to right click and then click on delete so this is how it looks like at the from the first time you you put it over there you might think oh what is this it's so ugly no you have to style it okay so we don't need this one okay all what we need is this one and then we want to position the icon to the what to the left like this okay so if you look down over here the position is supposed to be what the left side okay so position it on the left and then um we want to change the icon to what to let's say card okay so let me say card so you can you can look for any card that you want okay so i'm going to use this card which is a credit card okay so i'm going to use this one over here or you can you know decide to choose any card that you want to what that you want to use okay so this is what i use you can also decide to use um this one it depends on you and it depends on what you really want to use so let's say i use this one and then what is written over there it says what crypto card okay so i'm just going to what copy it come over here and then paste it over here which says what crypto card okay so now i have this one still but i still haven't um, you know style it yet so i'll click on the style over here and then um i'm going to um, you know click on this um this uh, and choose what a primary color two okay for the icon um the same way you can you know give it the size of the icon the way you want it okay depends you on you however you want it you can what choose um the size that you want it and with the title also i'm going to give it what a primary color two okay so that will be what unique throughout and then with the alignment i'm going to put it in middle okay so that it will be what align in the middle okay and then with the typography like we always do okay we're going to search for um monserrat okay so we're going to search for monserrat that is for our fonts family okay so as you can see it is on monserrat now let's um, you know increase the size a little bit the size of the monserrat a little bit so we're gonna go for let's say 40 okay so 40 is okay okay so we have 40 and then this um the weight too is what is quite okay so i think we are good to go we are good to go let's click on what update okay so just click on the update and go over here and then see you can see it is what similar okay similar to what we are doing so we are what we are good to go so um let me click over here click on this um you know grip icon over here i don't know why it's not saving okay so let me check um if i still have internet because i don't understand why it's not saving so hold on let me check and then we'll we'll go on okay guys so now i think it is it is correct i think my internet was um you know messing around so now everything is correct so i'm going to click on this grip um this six i um you know dots over here to edit to open the edit session for me and then i'll click on this um you know advance and then i'll give it a button padding of 90 okay so I'm going to give a button padding of 90. So let's say 90. Okay, so that there'll be a padding at uh, the bottom side, okay? So um, um now that I I have it done, I'm just going to update it again and then um I will move on to the next the next session which is um the trading packages, okay? So how we will be able to create these beautiful trading packages over here, okay? so um i'm going to um you know create this beautiful trading packages over here in a simple way okay so what i'm going to do is i'm go i'll go over here and then let me look at it very well so as you can see this is um, a whole session with what three different what um columns okay and then another one with three different columns over here so all the packages are s um five packages with one crypto converter over here okay so that's um what we're going to create so um i'll go to home over here and then what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to create a session okay
now with a session i'm going to create a three column session over here now before i even create the three column session okay guys we we'll hold on let me delete this one okay and then let's create a one column session first so let's create a one column session first and then with a one column session what we're going to do is um let's come over here we're going to use it to it to um you know write a heading and then a subheading okay so we come over here and then we grab um a heading widget so click on this grip icon over here and then grab a heading widget over here okay paste it over here let's come over here and paste this one over here okay now just pasting your what your heading over there position the heading um in the middle and then go to style over here and then style it the way you want it so with your colors and everything so i'm going to use uh, primary color 2 for it and then um the, the typography um i'm going to um, the font family will be montserrat as usual so i'm going to write montserrat choose it and then with a the size um i'm just going to use let's say 25 or not 25 so let's say 30 okay yeah 30 is quite okay um and then now that i have it this one set up what i need to do is to click on the grip icon the nine dots at the top over here again and then bring in a divider okay so i'm going to bring in um a divider at the bottom of the heading of the um heading okay that's exactly what i'm going to do now guys don't mind the um you know the cock crowing at the background and the place i am is a little bit noisy but i have to make this video for you guys to what um to to learn okay so don't really mind the cock crowing at the background just focus on what on the the content i'm making <laughs> okay so um let's you know um, um reduce the width a little bit so i'm gonna go for pixel okay and then i'll say um let's say um 150 pixel okay and i'll push it i'll position it in the middle and then i'll go to style over here and then i'll increase the width to um 2.5 like we did the other one okay just like that and then um, i think it's okay now the next one is for us to bring in what um a text widget okay so a text editor widget so drag in the text editor widget below the what below the um the divider okay just drag in and then um, go to style over here just go to style okay to style it okay so position it in the middle okay and then you know choose a text color so i'm going to choose um, a text color that we use and then um the typography i'm going to choose a text that we use okay so that will be um you know completely journey throughout um unique throughout okay so that will be what um the same throughout now let's copy this one which says what grow your money um with our stable blah 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 thing okay so let's copy it and paste it and replace it with the w uh, dummy in um, text that we have over here so i'm going to highlight all of them and paste this one in okay so basically this is how it looks like okay so um we are good to go okay so what we have to do is just to reduce the amount of space between these um things okay so with the with the package uh um our trading packages i'll go to just click on it and go to advance okay and then like i said reduce the bottom you know margin okay now for some reason elementor gives um top and bottom margin of what tw 20 to every widget okay so i don't know why but that is how they they make it so make sure that you reduce the bottom margin to make it negative 20 okay and then also um you know with this one also you can also make it what negative 20 uh, top reduce the top okay make it what negative 20 so negative 20 so that it's going to be um you know at the top a little bit okay so i think this is quite okay this is quite good 
now our next one that we're going to do is to bring in an inner session okay so that we can be able to create our um, packages with it so um, just click on this grip icon and bring in an inner session over here so I'm gonna bring in an inner session just below the text okay so just below the text should have an inner session so as you can see um, the inner session has come on top of the text so I'm gonna drag it on top of this one okay very good so that the inner session will be what will be below the what the text so now that we have this inner section what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it so that we have three columns rather okay so as you see it is two columns so when we duplicate it we're going to have um, three columns over here okay so now that we have three columns over here um, what we're going to do is um, we're going to bring in um, let's let's look at how this one is so we're not going to use any icon box we're not going to use anything we're just going to uh, design it the way we want it okay so we will use some heading heading you know just heading heading and then some what um dividers and other stuff and then you know a button okay just like that so this is this is what plan one okay so let's go here and then bring in a heading over here okay just bring in a heading over here okay now type in your plan one in it okay just type in your plan one in it put it in the what in the middle okay go to style okay now as you can see um, this one have what uh, um, default color two okay so that's exactly what we're going to do so just um, you know go to style and then give it your default color that we use and then go to um, typography change the um, the typography to Montserrat the font family to Montserrat okay just change the font family to Montserrat and then you know just give it um, a bigger um, you know a bigger size like 35 is quite okay and then if you want to reduce this one to any size that you want it depends on you but I think 600 is quite okay so we're gonna make it like this now after everything you think this one is done now because um, maybe we might repeat this kind of things um, I would have wanted to save it but I'm not going to save it now so what I'm going to do is um, um, the next one is also what um, this one over here which says what 12 percent and then what um, two and uh, um, two and a half a uh, 24 hours sorry so um, I'll just you know um, come over here okay so I'm just gonna bring a text widget okay now just bring in this text widget below this um, you know plan okay put in the text widget over there and then what we're going to do is we're going to paste um, this thing over here so as you can see it is having what what we want okay so this is exactly what we want you can see over here boldly now you can decide to bold this one okay make it bold you can decide to make it what bold okay now let's look at how this one looks like okay see so this one is what a little bit bigger and this one is what, a little bit small so um let me go over here and then you can decide to what make this one what um stronger okay yeah and then this one can be what can be small okay depends on how you want it or you can decide to even change the what um the heading and make this one what heading one okay as you can see so this one will be what will be a little bit small okay so it depends on how you want it and then we can what position it in the what in the middle so go over here and position it in the middle over here and then um, you know you can style it the way you want it so um, let's say I want to choose the typography as what as 
Montserrat. I want to choose the typography as Montserrat. So I have it this way. Okay. So as you can see, I have it um, done exactly the way I want it. And then I can decide to either increase or decrease the font size. Okay. The way I want it. But you see this one, it doesn't really behave this way because of um, how um, this one looks like. Okay. So don't worry about it. You can just, you know, copy it and then paste it over there. And then if you want to watch, check how it works, you can go to um, the the text over here. And then you see the classes, okay? So this one is what? It's small, okay? And this one is what? It's big, okay? And it's strong. It means that it is what? It is big. So that is how it is, okay? So you can decide to uh, just, you know, check it. And then you know make it the way you want it okay so this is just an HTML you know tags and other stuff that you can use that is why I use the text widget for it okay so um, so now that I have this one as it is so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to what um, you know have this uh, minimum and then uh, maximum what um, prices set okay so I'm just going to what copy this one and then go back over here and then um, bring in another text widget okay bring in another text widget just below this one okay and then also paste this one in okay so um, I'm gonna paste this one in I'll go to um, you know the style over here position it in the middle okay so as you can see and now we'll use the our uh, text um, you know color okay I can make it the way I want it and I'll use our uh, text also so just like this one okay we have this one also what set up now the next one that we are going to also uh, make is to make sure that we bring in what um, dividers okay so we have two dividers that we're gonna bring so as you can see we have this one and this one okay so that is exactly what we're gonna do so bring this divider just below the um the 12 percent and then what 24 hours okay so this one let, let me check this one here and then we can also what um, just copy this one copy it and then paste it below this one okay so paste it okay so we have this two one also what also set now the next one that we're going to do is so to bring in a button okay so um to bring in that button what we're going to do is we're just going to what drag in the button just below the what um the um how do you call it the the text widget over there so we're going to position the button in the middle okay and then um, what is written on it says what invest now okay so we're going to write invest now on it okay so okay so we have invest now on it so as you can see we have what invest now on it now we want the button to be a little bit bigger okay so what we're going to do is um, we're going to style over here and then we change some few what styles of the button okay so let's click on style now the button color or the background color should be uh, what our primary what color over here and then the text color should be what should be white okay so I'm gonna use the team color white okay for the text color and then um, um, the border radius I'm gonna give it to a zero border radius because I don't want it to have any border radius but the pattern okay I'm gonna unlink the pattern over here and then give it what um, a top pattern of 15 15 bottom pattern of 15 okay and then I'm gonna give a right pattern of um, 40 and then a left pattern of 40 yeah 
so even the 40 is even too small so i'm gonna give it 50 because i want it to be a little bit bigger and i'll give this one also 50. okay so and then what i'm gonna do is the typography i'm gonna go and change it okay so i'll change the typography to Montserrat, the font family to Montserrat. Okay, so change the font family to any font family that you want. So I want Montserrat, so I change it to Montserrat. And then the size, I'm gonna give it um, a little bit bigger size, so like 25. Um, 25 is too big, so let's say 20. Yeah, so 20 is what is quite okay. And then I'm gonna give it 15. Okay, so now that we have um, you know the first one set up okay so i think everything is good to go everything is good if you can see over here um everything is what quite all right but um we need you see if you look at this one over here okay um this one have some what some kind of like you know animations going on here okay so that is exactly what we need to what to make sure that this one also would also have okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over here and then make um, it looks the same okay so what i'll do is um i'll just click on this edit column over here so click on the edit column over here and then go to um, advance over here okay now we're going to give it a pattern okay so what we're going to do is um we're going to give it a top and bottom pattern okay so with a top pattern i'm going to give it 30 with a bottom pattern i'm going to give it um, 30. okay so i think even the 30 30 is too small so i'm going to give a top pattern of 50 bottom pattern of 50 and then right pattern of 20 and then left pattern of 20. okay so it's going to be um, something like this okay now if you look over here okay it is having some kind of box shadow okay and that's exactly what we're going to do so um firstly we go to um the style over here okay so go to style and then with the style we go to border okay now don't give it a border yet but see beneath the border we have a box shadow over there just click on it okay and then with the border radius we're gonna give it like um let's say 20 border radius okay so that it's gonna what it's gonna pop just like this one okay so as you can see we have what a very nice um you know um, plan over here which is what plan one okay now what we want to do also do is um i think this one um you know it's it's neat um what we call um let me reduce the box shadow a little bit so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to you know reduce the opacity of the shadow a little bit okay so just like this one over here and then um what i would also do is i'll go to the advance of the edit and um, the in the column and then i'll give it a margin of all around 20. okay yeah so that it's going to be something like this yeah i think this is this is quite okay yeah this is quite okay so now that i have this one done now all what i need to do is what to just you know duplicate the columns okay so i'm going to duplicate it three times okay and then delete the ones that um, is not needed okay so what i'm going to duplicate i'm going to just duplicate it what, three times so that i'm going to have three over here okay and then i'm going to delete um this one over here this one delete this one okay so as you can see i have um this one nicely done okay so um you know if you look at if you look at this one um the box shadow is is not really there unless you what you hover on it okay and that is because this one have what this one have um how do you call it um a background you know color okay if you look at it critically this one have a light background color 
okay so we're gonna give this one a background color so let's click over here okay click on this edit and then before we give it a background color we're gonna give it what um a top and down padding okay so i'm gonna give it a top and down padding of 90 90 90 top and bottom pattern of 1990 and then i'll click on um, style over here and then i'll go to um, the background type okay click on the background type and then i'll click on what this color okay so before i even click on i'm going to use this background type this one okay to make it like this and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this one this color over here and then drag the opacity or drag it to what this side okay and then reduce the opacity a little bit yeah very good so i think this is um this is quite okay but as you can see because um this you know column doesn't have what um how do you call it it doesn't have um a, a background color this column that because this column doesn't have a background color it has taken the color of what of the back the whole session background so we're going to give the column a background color so um click on this edit column so click on this edit column over here and then click on what style over here okay now don't mind the core growing please do not mind the core growing just uh, focus on my what my tutorial over here so on the column type we're gonna give um <laughs> on, a <laughs> on the column type we're gonna give um you know um uh, how do you call it um, the color of what pure white okay so i'm gonna give a color of what pure white to it okay so as you can see um the column is what now pure white so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just copy the style okay so I'm, i'll click on copy and then come over here right click on the edit column and then i'll paste what style okay so the same way over here I'll click on this one and then I'll paste what I'll paste star. Okay. So now that we have this one set, now we need to remove um, um how do you call it? We need to remove the box shadow from it and then make the box shadow uh, when we go to border over here, okay. We need to remove the box shadow from it. Okay. So now as you can see, we have um you know the we have this one over here but we want to what um even we can even make the box shadow on hover okay so now if if somebody um you know hover on it then the person should have what um a box shadow okay so when i hover on this one there should be a box shadow okay and that's exactly what um, we want so i'm going to copy this one and then come over here and then click on paste style okay the same way click on paste style okay so now if i click uh, hover on it the box shadow what will appear okay just like that so this one makes sense and this one um, is similar to what is um, similar to what um, we are looking on it to, uh, to create okay so that's um that's how it is and all what we need to do is to um how do you call it is to you know just um duplicate you know the session okay so the inner session over here i'm just going to uh, duplicate it okay so let's duplicate it to make it what um twice and then we can what we can just change the plans um in it okay so um we have all the plans done over here i don't know why my computer is so slow right now i need to check it up i need to check it up because i don't know my computer bec has become so slow the internet has become so slow everything has become so slow i just need to check it up so um to change the plans it's very easy just click over here okay and then um this one says what basic plan two okay so i'm going to copy this one come over here and then change it to what 
basic plan two okay the same way um just copy this one okay come over here go over here um you know click here uh, click here and then change this one also to what to to what you want it to what to be okay so so i want this one to be what to be bold yeah i want this one to be bold and i want it to be heading one yeah okay so um the same way you know you can you you can change all these ones okay yeah and then you have the plan now to to uh, i'm not going to waste time in changing all these things you can just you know um change it using um how i'm doing it okay and then um to this one also we have to what just remove it because this one has no plan it is just a widget which is showing over there so i'm going to delete um this one i'm going to delete everything from from here okay all what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert a widget in it okay so that is exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to just insert a widget in it so i'm going to i'm deleting everything from here and then insert a widget in it okay so now that it is deleted now let's go back to um this side and then see what kind of widget is there okay so um this is a widget from crypto compare okay so as you can see we can go back to our crypto compare um widget uh, panel and then um this one is what the converter okay so we can click on it just click on it for it to load for you and then as you can see i give i get okay so whatever that somebody wants to what, convert you can convert it for the person and then the person can be able to convert it and then just copy the um, you know the widget script over here and then go back to your um, place just click on this one and then search search for um html okay and after getting the html um, widget just put it um, drag it and put it where you want to put the what um, the widget okay so after it it has been what loaded just you know um, paste the widget over there and you're good to go so don't worry if it's not showing just click on update okay and we are going to see it at the front end so um So go to the front end, refresh your website, and you see everything what everything there. So let's scroll, scroll and see. So we have oh wow, everything is what genuinely there. Okay, so as you can see, we have um this one displaying over there. Okay. So now we have um you know we have we have a website completely done. And I think everything is good to go. Everything is good to go. We are what? We are on course. We are we are doing everything proper. Okay. So now that we have everything good to go, everything good to go. The next one that we um we are going to do is to um to do this session, which is the secured payment session, and then we do the how do you call it? The testimonial session, and then we also do the what? um you know um about the company and other stuff and then we also showcase our what our company profile and uh, certificate and all those things and then we also showcase um we talk about our affiliate if you have affiliate program and then we also what um do um crypto support if somebody wants to what, apply for support and other stuff and then um the last one which is what um if somebody wants to contact you okay so this these things are what um are very simple to do so this is what um secured payment okay so this is the secured payment that we're going to do so um with a secured payment it's very simple okay so let's also click on um this button over here we're going to use the same style that we created 
um, used in creating what our um, this one okay so I'm gonna copy um, this one I'm gonna copy this so right click on it to copy it just copy it come over here okay um, right click over here paste it on it okay so we copy um, you know the how do you call it we copy the the divider also come here right click over here and then paste okay we, we we copy the text also okay so let me right click over here copy it right click on the divider and then paste okay very good now that we have this one set um, I have to give a little bit of space breathing room for so I'm going to go to advance and then you know give top and down margin of what 90 90 okay so that there'll be a breathing space over here and then with this one with the packages over here now of course this is not package this is what secure what payment okay so we're gonna what um, say secure payment okay very good so now that we have a secure payment set now this one also what says what it doesn't say the one that it is saying over there but then it says a different thing so we're gonna copy this one and then come over here click on this one also and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna paste this one over here we're gonna paste the paragraph over here okay so it is a paragraph so we're gonna paste it over here and that is it so um we are good to go so i'm gonna put a full stop over there okay so we are good to go okay so very good so we're good to go now the next one is what to bring in this three things over here so um this is just you know some of the but you can decide to display bitcoin you know maybe um ethereum is accepted or not but anything that you you accept over here on if and only if you accept it on your website you put it over here okay so um some of the coins are put over here maybe i'm not uh, um, i'm just using it for what educational purposes or for tutorial purposes okay so don't really focus on it but you put in the things that you accept on your website over here so maybe you accept bitcoin you accept ethereum and then you accept the shiba token so um i'm just going to put in i'm, I'm going to um click over here okay or i'll click on this grip icon over here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to search for carousel okay carousel so, and then i'm going to bring um this carousel over here okay and then now what i'm going to do is i'm going to um, click on it click on the add image then over here and then i'm just going to what um, you know add in some some bitcoin you know thing that i want to what i want to accept so it, maybe I, I accept um bitcoin visa card and all those things i can what i can place it over there okay so i just um click over here and then um hold on i'm coming so let me let me go and search for um visa card you know let's say um visa I'm just going to search for Visa card f on Google, okay? So don't mind this one. This is um Chinese thing. But Yeah, so let's see. I'm going to use this one. So So I'm just going to copy um I'm just going to save this one. okay and then let's say mastercard mastercard logo or icon or whatever it is okay so i'm gonna pick this one also okay then i'm gonna um, save it so now i can go back over here and then drag them in okay so i can drag this one here and I can also drag this one here. Okay, so I have three things over here. 
um it shouldn't that is like i said it should be something that you accept on your website okay it shouldn't be because it is supposed to be crypto and all the other things compulsory by force you have to have cryptocurrency the mastercard the visa card are all payment what methods that you accept on your website so if somebody is buying an investment plan um, you can what use it on your website okay so um basically that is it so let's say um 300 by 300 i'm going to choose 300 by 300 okay and then um the default to scroll is supposed to be three okay and then um you know um default um to show and default to scroll is also supposed to be what, um three and then you know the image the arrow and dot none okay i don't want anything okay and then the links none everything none you can check the um you know um all those things autoplay you can say no because these are only three okay and then um all those things are also there so infinite loop and all those things you can also say what no okay so basically you have shown what this now to make it um you know nice make sure that all the the size are what are the same okay it makes your website really looks nice okay so this one i just you know downloaded the image um you can use photoshop to what make sure that um you get the correct size um so that you show it over there now let's um you know you can also um, align uh, how you want to align them so maybe you want to align them center so as you can see all of them will fall in the middle okay and that is it so um you know let's click on update to update it and now we have what we have our secured payment what also done okay so our secured payment is done we've updated it and the next one that we are going to talk about is the testimonials over here okay so with the testimonials um we have you know this testimonials to, uh, to show now to be able to do the testimonials what we have to do is to go back to our back end over here and then um what we are going to do is um we're going to go to testimonials over here and then we will what add what testimonials okay so we have to what add testimonials um on the what on the website so um you know we add testimonials so um how do we add testimonials it's very simple so with this one um let's look at how these testimonials are so um we have what uh, maria sanchez investor who is what um who says this thing about what about our website so let's say um i'm gonna copy this one or i'm just gonna copy any anything okay any dummy image so as you can see you can write the name over here okay so let's say um johnson smith okay and then what does johnson smith says so johnson smith says um blah 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 okay so i'm just going to copy this dummy image and uh, this dummy text okay this one over here and i'm going to go over here and then we see johnson smith says what uh, this okay and then johnson smith says this and then the designation so what is designation it means that um the person's rank or whatever it is okay so we can say he's what a financial examiner and then the company what company does he works so you can give any company and then the location you can also give what any location and then you can give what you know a five star rating or whatever it is and then we can if you have the pro version of it you can but i'm i'm just going to give um you know that is the um the name the description and then what the des um, designation or whatever it is okay i don't know how to pronounce it the de designation or designation or whatever it is it means the rank okay so that is it so um w what the person really do and then we set 
featured image okay so so who is john smith so let's say this guy is what this guy is john smith okay so we set it and then what we can publish it okay so now that it's published we can add some few what some few testimonials and then i'll get back okay so the same way i'll just click over here and add some few testimonials now i'll get back to you shortly okay guys so i have all these testimonials set up so one two three four okay so all this one set up now what we have to do is um we have to what insert this testimonial into our website okay so how do we do it let's go back to our page that we are what that we are um, designing so as you can see over here um let's scroll and see where the testimonials are so um with the we can see that the testimonial have with a background okay and then a little bit of blue on top of it so we go over here and then um i'm gonna um you know use this one okay so um i'm going to use this you know one column session over here and then um okay so to be able to do it well what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this session okay so let me just let me just duplicate this section over here so just duplicate it okay so that i'm not going to repeat certain things all what i'm just going to do is just to style it okay so with this session duplicated um i just need to what, delete this one from it okay so i'm going to delete this one so right click on it and delete it okay so now that i have this one what i'm going to do is um, click on this edit session over here and go to the height and change it to what minimum height and then go to what um, go to the you know the style over here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it a background okay um, style uh, an image and then i'm going to pick the background image that i want okay so i want this um you know server image over here this computer server image over here so that is exactly what i'm going to pick so i'll click on it to open for me yeah and then um i'm going to you know change it to center center um the attachment i'm going to make it fix okay and then with the default um the repeat i'm going to say no repeat and then with the style i'm going to say cover okay yeah so that it's going to be something like this here yeah, very ni nice neatly done now what i need to do is i need to change the colors of this one and make it what white so i will go to style over here and then instead of um you know the this color i'm going to change it to white okay so just change it to white make sure that it is what it is white uh, the same way applies to it applies to the divider make sure that you change the color also to it. go to style and change the color of the divider to what to white okay just change it to white change it to white and then the same way change um the the um you know the text the text also to it to white so the text color i'm also going to change it to it change it to white okay now what is written on it is what is our testimonials this one says what our testimonials okay so guys we have really you know made um, a little bit mistake we should have changed it to black instead of what white okay but don't worry um, we can still what we can still um you know um, make it the way we want it so um let's go and change the words in it and then after that we can change it to what the black that we want so our testimonials and then with this one it says what it says um read below to know blah 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 okay so this one says what read below so this one says read below to know blah 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 now we will first of all click over here and then give it an overlay okay so we want to give it an overlay of 
certain blue and then you know but because we are using this our color we want to what, make it the overlay to suit the color that we want we want so with the overlay what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it a gradient overlay okay and i'm going to use um these two colors over here these are two primary colors over here okay yeah this very ones over here and then we're going to increase the opacity a little bit okay so with the opacity we're going to increase it a little bit yeah okay so i think the white um it's quite okay for us or uh, we can decide to make it the way we want it okay so now that we have this one set up now what we need to do is to bring in our testimonials okay so let's update this one let's update it and then we are going to refresh it okay so after updating we want to uh, refresh it because we want the testimonials that we did to show over here so we want to refresh it okay guys so now that we've refreshed our website and everything is what everything is working now let's go down to our testimonial side the session where we are doing the testimonial okay so this is the session where we are doing this testimonial okay so now let's search for what um, testimonial okay so scroll down just scroll down okay scroll down and then you see that you have this session over here which says what testimonial grid testimonial what slider and then um i set up what layout okay so let's say we want it to be what slider so testimonial slider we're gonna bring it over here just underneath um what we are doing okay so just drag it in oh drag it over here okay so the testimonial is rather showing um it's rather on top so we go i'm gonna bring this one on top of the testimonial so i'm gonna put it over here yeah very good so um let me check the testimonial so um this is the layout so we want this kind of layout and then it should be responsive columns and then um the columns we want it to be what three okay and then the query where we search for the testimonials we can what we can you know add all the testimonials that we what we um, designed or we we made at the other side okay so we're gonna add all four of them over here okay so now we have um all four of them set up okay well i don't know why it's not showing but then it's supposed to show but don't worry maybe it's some kind of glitch we show on the front end so let's click on the slider over here and then you can what you can decide to show arrows or decide not to show arrows okay it depends on you um if you want dot pagination i don't want any dot i just want the arrows okay so um the auto height if you want it you can what you can switch it on and then lazy loading and all those things auto replay uh, auto auto play and then pause on hover you can check it and then the image also however you want it you can also check it and then the content limit you can also what um limit your content over there and then um content visibility okay so the author and all those things that you wanted to show you can show it over there now with a style you can style it um the way you want it okay um you know the quotes and all those things anyhow you want it you can what style it now let's click on update and then let's you know go and then um i don't know why the network is fooling on my website and my my machine is too slow or whatever it is but let's refresh it on the front end to see if what we did has really um taken effect if it hasn't then we see what we can do about it okay so let's scroll and see so as you can see it has taken um effect okay so we have our testimonials here we can you know scroll to check out 
all the other testimonies now of course you can change the colors um over here okay so the quotes icon the author name the author bio the rating the testimonial text you can change all the colors the way you want it i'm not going to waste time over there because it's quite lengthy you can play around with the testimonials okay now the next one that i'm going to do is i just want um the testimonials to have some space to breathe in so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click over here and then um, go to advance over here okay and then i'm going to give it um, a top and down you know pattern okay so i'm going to give a top pattern of 90 and then a bottom pattern of also what 90 so that there will be a little bit of space um for it to breathe in okay so now that we have this one set i'll just click on what update to it to update the um the page for me now our next one that i'm going to um session that we're going to talk about is this um session over here now that we have our testimonial set we're going to talk about this session over here um so with this session it's just a three column session which have with a background image um nothing more nothing less okay just a um, three column session so what we're going to do is um i'm going to go over here and then click this one okay and then choose um, a three column session over here okay and then i'll click on this one and then come to style and then give it a background with a background image okay so i'm going to give it um a classic background with um you know an image so i'm going to give it this background image okay and then insert the media okay so the media is inserted okay um but you cannot see it because i need to what, make sure that the height is what minimum height so just make sure that you have the height set to it minimum height and then also um with this bottom with this session i want to remove the bottom pattern okay so i'll go to this call a session over here and then unlink the um, margin margin and then remove the what the bottom margin okay so so that um it wouldn't be that there's a white space over there before the image will come so i'm just going to click here again and then i want to what, um style the what the whole um uh, session again so um with this one i'm going to give you know with the position it's going to be center center um with the attachment it's going to be what fix and then with the what um repeat is going to be no repeat and then with the style style is going to be what cover okay okay very good so now um now that we have this one set up now let's um give it an overlay overlay now we're not going to give it an image overlay but we're going to give it um a color overlay okay so we're going to use this and then give it a dark color overlay yeah very good now with the opacity i'm going to make it what 0.7 okay so this is quite okay this is quite good okay very good so now that we have this one set up now we will what we will put in our what um you know our image over here registered company and then some few words over here okay so what we're going to do is um just click on this one just click on this one and then drag in an image widget over here okay yeah so drag in an image widget over here and then also drag in a text widget so um, let's set the image first so we're going to choose our logo okay so we're going to choose our white logo that is what we're going to use so we're going to choose our white logo so now that we have our white logo set up now let's go to um this place and drag in what a heading widget underneath the what the image okay so what are we going to write under it we're going to write what registered company okay so just write registered company underneath okay so registered company 
okay put it in the middle okay yeah just put it in the middle make sure that this image is also positioned in the middle okay yeah very good now the next one that we also going to just click over here and then drag in the text widget okay now don't worry we'll, we are going to style it okay we'll style it the way we want it so drag in a text widget drag this one in it okay and then you can write anything that you want to what you want to write in this text widget okay so with this one what is written over here so we are legal blah 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 for more information just you know click here okay so you can give a link for them to it to be able to check you out okay so you can link this one to it to any um, place that you want to what you want to link okay that is it so now let's go to here let's go to style to style whatever we've written so i'm going to put it in the middle and then with this one i'm going to give it all white yeah and then with the typography we can give it a text what um you know a texting but as you can see it is too big okay so we can reduce it to let's say 14 or 15 or whatever it is so 14 is quite okay so let's say 14 okay now with a registered company we can also style it the way we want it so make it sure that it is what and it's all white so that it is very visible okay or you can make it any color that you want but then i like it all white and then we change um the the text to what monserrat make sure that it is monserrat yeah and then you know we can make it to what 30 as it is okay so now we are good to go you can even reduce the size of what of the te of the image okay so go to style of the image and then um, you can you know control the width okay over here yeah you can just control it so let's say this is how you want it so 70 is quite okay so let's say 70 okay very good so we are done with this one now the next one is what we're going to add a box icon box to it okay so just click over here and then um, type in what box okay and then we're going to bring an um, icon box okay so with this icon box i'm going to delete this one from here okay and then let me see if i can pick something from here if not then i go back and install it myself so um, let me see if i can pick something from here no i can't okay because this is different um, thing altogether so let me go back and install it myself so what i'm going to do is um i'm just going to click on this one let me see the first one says what um, this one has this um, icon and then this um you know words over here with this what um deposit okay so um which icon is the pig okay so let me see yeah the pg box okay so with this one that is quite done and then this one has what um this thing set up and then total deposit is written underneath okay so just as this one okay so now i go to style to style it now let's go to style and then um with this color we're going to change it to what to white so change the color to white okay make sure that you have it all white and then um you can decide to it oh it's not white again it's supposed to be white okay and then we can decide to what um, to increase the size a little bit the way you want it okay so let's say 70 okay so let's say 70 and then with the content let's go to the content to also what um you know style it so with the content we still want it to be what to be white we want it to be all white and then 
with a typography we want it to be a Montserrat typography so we're gonna search for Montserrat okay so let's search for Montserrat yeah very good and then uh, we can increase the size of the you know the text so 40 let's see how 40 looks like let's see how 40 looks like okay so 40 is quite okay okay very good so now that we have this one set up now let's go to um, you know the text itself so also i'm gonna pick this team color white and then i'm gonna pick this one which is what text okay but then let me increase um, you know the size a little bit because 16 is too small so i'm gonna make it like 18 yeah 18 so now that i have this one set up now all what i need to do is just copy this one just copy this one and then paste it over here copy and paste it over here okay so i'm good to go so what do i need to do just changing some few things okay so changing this one which says what um what about about millions that is there so i'm going to change this one which says millions and then the next one is what um total redraw okay and then there what the dollar sign so total redraw and then i'm going to change the dollar sign i'm going to change this pg box to what dollar sign okay so money oh let me search for dollar okay so this dollar sign okay so i'm gonna what insert it and then i'm good to go so i'm done with this side okay i'm quite done with this side all what i need to do is what to click on what um update to update it now let's look at the next one the next one is this three column what um thing over here it's also very easy to do okay so um how 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 many sessions are we um yet to go okay so we are yet to go one two three and then four sessions okay so um you're supposed to do this one which is also very easy to do so with this one all what we need to do is just to create a three column session and then just insert um you know where we want to insert over there so with this one also i'm going to create a three column session just like this one okay or i can decide to um, delete this one and then the same three column session but i'm going to pick this one rather i'm going to pick this one rather okay and then over here i'm going to insert um this you know um you know coin widget over here okay so i'm going to go to this place the um, crypto compare let me see if it is crypto compare okay so let me um let me watch through if it is crypto compare yeah so i think this one i think is this one yeah yeah i'm sure it's this one and then i'm going to what I'm gonna copy this one okay and then come back to the page that I'm designing I'll click over here and then search for the HTML HTML okay and then drag in the widget over here now after I drag in the widget over here I'm gonna what paste in the code that I copied inside the what um, the widget okay so I'm gonna paste in the code over here okay so just paste in the code over here and let's see what happens so the code is pasted but you can't see don't worry about it okay just don't worry about it the code is pasted now over here i'm going to what click um the plus icon over here and drag in an image widget over here okay i'm going to drag in an image widget over here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to what um insert a certificate over there okay so if you have your company certificate you can what choose what insert that one over there since you are a registered company you want people to know that you're a registered company you can insert 
your what your broker licenses or whatever licenses that you have over there or your s registered um, certificate company certificate over there so this is um, a demo certificate that I'm using okay I'm just going to what, insert it over here and then over here I'm going to what, make it um, like this one okay so company crypto market um, company number and then what um, you know the company the number will be there okay so that is very simple I'm going to what, um, use heading and then um, lines okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in the heading widget over here and then I'm just going to write company name okay so just company name write company name over there now style it the way you want to style it so I'm going to what use all black and then you know I'm going to go for Montserrat I'm going to go for Montserrat as my uh, font family as always so that is the company name okay so now that I have the company name now what I need to do is I just want to what duplicate it okay so I'm going to duplicate it and then with the company name I'm just going to write crypto that is the company name crypto um, currency crypto currency market marketplace that is what the company name okay so don't worry about it if um, you can put in your own company name over there okay so cryptocurrency marketplace now go to style and then reduce the font and reduce the everything that I'm using over there so I'll come to the color and then um, I'll use this text color and then I'll come to um, you know I'll, I'll use this text okay so um, yeah I think it's okay now the next one let me let me just increase it to 18 okay so that will be a little bit bolder yeah so um, what I'm going to do next is to just bring in what a divider okay so I'm going to bring in a divider and I need this um, you know currency okay crypto market the company name and I need the company name so the currency and um, whatever it is crypto market currency whatever it is so now that I have this thing done what I need to do is just copy this one just copy it paste it over here just copy this one also copy and paste it over here just paste it over here okay so this one is what certificate what number okay so certificate number so certificate number okay guys so what I need to do is I need to reduce the size of this ones okay so let's say let's make this one 22 yeah very good yeah 22 is quite okay okay so I'm gonna copy copy and then paste all over here okay very good so with the certificate number what number am I gonna give it um, I'm just gonna give it any number that I want because this is what just a demo an educational purpose so I will say this is my certificate number okay yeah of course there's T in it so this is my certificate number now all what I need to do is to just give in um, space to breathe so I'll click over here and then I'll go to um, you know 
um, this place okay advance and now just give it a pattern okay top pattern so let me give it a top pattern of um, let's say 90 so I'm gonna give it a top pattern of 90 and then a bottom pattern of so so not 90 okay so that there'll be um, so much room to it to breathe okay now if you don't like the pattern you can also give it to it um, you know you can decide to give it um, how do you call it margin okay it depends on you now the pattern gives it a space inside um, you know the session and then the the margin give it a space outside the session so I think we are good to go so now that I have this one done um, I think I'm good to go we are we are we are good to go not just I'm good to go we are good to go so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to what update this one so let me just click on update and see how it looks on the front end if it is um, similar to what we want to create then we are good to go let me move on to the next session okay so let's just refresh this one okay so let me let me just scroll down and see here so um, I think everything is everything is quite okay yeah so you know everything is quite okay so this is what um, what we want now of course you can decide to position it um, in the middle the way you want it so you can go to you know layout over here and then you can the the um, you know the vertical alignment you can give it to it middle okay so that everything will be in the middle and also with the column gap you can decide to give it to it um, wider column what gap okay depends on you how you want it so that there will be some kind of like you know a gap between whatever that you are doing and then you can update it okay so now we are good to go so now the next one is to um, do this one over here so this is a two column um, you know session and with some two buttons one is what um, you know a heading more like a heading button and the other one is what a clickable button okay so that is what we're gonna do so um, we go over here and then um, we're gonna create a two column session okay so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna go um, and pick or copy some of the sessions that I've already done so that it will make me move faster okay so I need the about page the about side okay I think that about side is um, is the one that I need so just right click over here okay just right click on this one and then click on copy to copy it now scroll down to where we are we are at the bottom where we are okay don't worry about this ones appearing at the bottom it doesn't show at the front end it's because we are using the HTML uh, widget that is why it is behaving this way so um, paste it over here okay so now that we pasted it over here now what do we what do we do so we want this image okay so go over here click um, you know click on this one okay just click on it and then um, delete this uh, man digging the crypt, um, you know crypto over there and then insert the image that we need to insert over there which is the um, affiliate image so this is the image that we want just you know um, insert it over here okay so now we are one step ahead so what again do we need we need to create these two buttons okay so these two buttons over here we need to create it and then also we need to what, just insert this things that we um, we need to insert so I'm gonna click over here so I'm gonna click on this one okay to edit this one just replace um, replace this text over here I'm gonna put in this text rather okay so now that I have this text you know placed I'm gonna pick the next one and then also um, you know 
put it there okay so with this one I'm gonna pick this one come over here um, you know select this text okay just click on the edit text um, button or the pencil icon over there and then um, you know just select all the text over here and then paste in this one okay and then go back to this place select this one also copy it okay now make sure that you make it your own okay do not just copy and paste make sure that you make it your own okay so um, I'm gonna just you know um, duplicate this session over here now after duplicating it I just need to remove this one from it and then you know paste in this one of course this one is just bolding okay so don't worry too much about it why it became this no no and it's just bold so you can just highlight it and bold it so that is what that is exactly how this one um, it is now the next one that we're going to do is to just paste in what button okay so I'm going to copy the button from um, let me see here okay I'm just going to copy this button one button okay so right click it and then copy it okay now scroll scroll to where we are working okay just scroll to where we are working and then um just we're going to delete the about us but then just make sure that you paste the button below the about us okay yeah very good and then you know alignment make sure you make it to it left okay very good so now we can what delete this about us okay right click on it and then click on what delete now the same way underneath this um you know important thing just click on what paste to paste the what the button over there and then make sure you position the button to your what to your left okay now we want to style the what the button now this is the button that we need okay so what is written over there what is written it says what get started okay so now we the button have what an icon okay so we're gonna um you know make sure that we have an icon so enable unfiltered what file uploads yes we want to what enable unfiltered file upload okay so um i want to close it and this is what oh sgv s sgv okay svg sorry and this is what icon library i thought i clicked on the icon library now what i'm going to do is i'm going to search for the arrow so i'm going to search for an arrow icon so like this one i need the um arrow icon yes very good and then um i'll go to style over here and then all what i'm going to do is i'm going to style the what the button okay so with a text icon with a text color i'm going to use black yeah and then um with a color i'm just going to use transparent so um with this color what i'm going to do is i'm going to shift this color to the other side to make it transparent okay yeah very good and then um with a border type i'm going to use solid okay and then I'm going to use, uh, not solid, I'm going to use double, rather. Yeah, very good. And then I'm going to say two. Okay, uh, let's say one. Okay, so four, it's quite okay. Yeah, okay. So four is quite okay. But as you can see, there is too much padding at the left and right. Um i don't want it to be like that so what i want is i'm going to um, un un link this one and make it around 20. okay so 20 is quite okay for me yeah very good so now that i have my button you know done and set up i can even give it what um, um hover animation okay so that when i hover it's going to be what bulb okay bob 
okay very good so now when i hover it's supposed to what to bob for me okay very good so now what i need to do is to, uh, to also edit the side now what is written over there it says what affiliate program okay so we go over here and then write affiliate program okay let me check whether the affiliate is double l or yeah, it's just one l okay now let's go to style over here let's go to style 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 okay so with the style also um i'm just going to you know unlink the pattern or you know link all the pattern and then i'm just going to also um i think 15 is all right but what i'm going to do is um i'm going to give it um with a typography i'm going to make it capital okay so with a transform make it uppercase yeah very good so now we have what affiliate program set up now we don't want it to be like a link so that somebody can click on it so we're going to remove this link from it okay so so that it's not going to be a link so that somebody can click on it now let's click on update to update it now let's see the next session that we want to what we want to design so this is the next session that we want to design so it's also very simple and then the last one over here so with the next session um that we want to design uh, we have already you know done the background already we just copy it okay so this is what this one over here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy um copy it copy the whole session itself and then i'll come i'll come over here and then paste the session over here okay so i'm going to paste it over here okay so now that i've pasted it over here all what i want to do is to just create a two column okay so i'm going to delete this one and then i'll delete the I inside one also um the 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 box okay i'm going to delete this um thing over here also that is the image and then let me look at this one okay so you have um this one and this one say i'm just going to what copy this one and then come to my page and then click on this one just click on this particular thing over here the this particular thing over here and then um highlight the whole thing and then paste this thing over here okay now make sure that it is on the left the same way with this one also make sure that it is also on the left okay so i'm going to go to style and then position it or align it on the what on the left okay so what is written over here also is what so i'm going to copy this whole thing copy it come to this place go to content and then paste it inside the what inside the text editor so i'm going to paste it over here okay very good now i just need to increase the 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 size a little bit so that it will be a little bit bolder okay so i'm going to go to typography and then instead of 14 i'm going to make it like 16. okay and then i'm going to make it um, 600 so it'll be a little bit bolder yeah very good so now um i think what we need to do is just scroll up just scroll up to the hero session okay and then copy this button over here so just copy the button because it is similar to the button that we want just copy it and then scroll down to where we are designing um, and then paste the button beneath this text okay just paste it over here it's gonna show beneath the text yeah very good so now we have it done now what is written in the bu button says what apply now which is capital so apply now okay so now we have um it completely done so now we have it completely done 
okay we have it completed done now um there is n there should be more space over here so we i need to uh, give um the bottom you know such a space to it uh, to breathe so click on this six um you know icon over there and then dot icon over there and then click on this advance and then um on link this place and then give it um bottom of 90 so that will be spaced for it to, uh, to breathe okay so now that we have this one also done um the next one is for us to do the what um the placing the our what our um form okay want to hear from us form okay so um let's let's do that want to hear from us then let me see if i can okay so i can just you know um copy this one so i'm gonna copy this one let's scroll down okay and then paste it over here okay very good now what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this one because this is a place where we're going to put our form over there so i'm going to delete this one and then i'm going to delete this one also yeah okay so i'm just going to what write um want to hear from us or what we want to hear from you sorry we want to hear from you <laughs> we want to hear from you so i'm gonna paste this one over here okay now you can change the text to what to black so text color black okay so um i think we are good to go so what we need to place over here is just the form okay so let's update it and then go quickly create the form and then we come and refresh our website and then we place the form over there and then our home page is what is completely done okay so let's go to um the back end over here and then let's look at um wp forms over here okay so um click on add new okay guys so um we're gonna create a simple you know contact form okay so we're gonna use this template to create it so um just a simple contact form okay it's where somebody can be able to uh, contact us so that is it so if you look over here it's just a very simple name email subject okay so we can even just make it name email there is no subject for it and then we go so um let's let's see how it comes so um i'm just going to click here to edit instead of first last i'm going to make it simple okay and i'll go to advance over here and i'll make it towards large because i want it to be um very large and then um with the layout i want it to be what double okay because i want just name in an email to be on one line okay now and then i'll click over here to select it and then um over here i'll click on this one and then also um in the advance or in the um yeah in the advance sorry instead of medium i'll make it large and then with the um css class that is show layout i'm going to make it this way and then click here okay so that will be side by side okay and then with this one also i'll go to advanced instead of medium i'll make it large okay so um, basically that is all what i need to do over here now you you can go to settings okay and then make sure that you check all your settings for it if you want to them you want to redirect them to a different place after sending an image you can you know do all those advanced settings over here if you want to get no no the notification make sure that you input your correct email address and a whole lot of stuff and then with the confirmations also yeah this if you want to get a confirmation message or if you want to you know show a page or redirect to a different page you can what use this one to it to do it okay so basically um that is it so after everything is set and done
just you know click on what um save to save it now um you can close it okay just close it okay now you can pick this what short code over here okay so you can just copy the short code because that is the short code that we're going to use okay and then we come back to our page and then we're going to refresh it so refresh it so that it works for you okay guys so now that we've refreshed it um let's scroll down and see how we can you know integrate um, our form in it so this is um the place that we're gonna you know paste in our form um this place okay so what we have to do is let's search if we can see wp forms okay so search for wp form so as you can see this is what wp form so drag in the form underneath um this place okay um uh, okay so I just paste it over there okay just paste it wherever i will paste and then when it's done i don't know why my 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 my, my computer is behaving this way but i think maybe it's tired i need a new one let me just click over here and see so i'm gonna just um you know select a one session okay and then um make sure that i paste in um i drag in um click on this nine thing over here and drag in the um the bp forms widget over there okay so just drag in this form over here yeah okay so now that the form is you know placed over there and we're going to select the simple form that we created so this one just um, select it okay so if we had selected the form okay so this is a simple form that we what we created very simple one over here so as you can see there's a lot of space over here so what do we have to do we have to what reduce the bottom let's reduce the bottom you know um bottom margin okay so we're gonna unlink it and remove the bottom margin from there okay yeah very good or maybe make it the bottom margin of 20 so that at least there'll be a margin a space over there okay so guys we have this one done um perfectly well um but we can you know edit it small so let's click over here and then go to advance okay go to advance now i want a pattern of 50 all around okay yeah very good um and then i also want a margin of 50 all around okay so i think this one is quite okay but you see if you compare this and then you compare this one over here especially um let me scroll down especially the 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 button okay so as you can see the button is what um is very big okay over here um unfortunately the bp forms um y there's no way you can use elementor to uh, to edit it okay but if you go to the bp forms like their um their website they've given you some other um you know some other kind of like um codes and other stuff that you can use css classes and css codes that you can use to edit your um your button okay so um what i'm going to do is i'm going to just copy some css code and then paste it in um our you know additional advanced css code session on the website so before i do that um what i'm going to do is i'm going to what I'm gonna um update this um one okay so just click on update to update it so after it has been updated um I'm gonna go back to um let me let me go back to um you know where is it where is it where is appearance okay and then customize okay go back to appearance and then click on customize we want to customize some certain things okay 
okay guys so now that we are over here okay i want to scroll down to um, where we want to customize so that you see what i'm talking about so over here um, we are going to paste in some css code okay so we go to um, scroll down and then you see additional css every theme have it okay so just click on it and then you can paste in your additional css um, code over here okay so i'm going to paste this code over here now as you can see at the moment i pasted the code what happened it changes the what the button for us okay and that is what i want now I'll put this code also in um in the description for you you can there will, there will be a link over there you can get it over there okay so you can also use the code to customize your what your form button okay so that is it so now that we have it now all we need to do is to just click on what publish to publish it okay so now we are what we are good to go so as we are over here then the next step that we want to do is to what is to set our what site identity okay so we want to set our site icon just click over here oh let me let me go back so let's click on site identity over here okay this one yeah so as you can see you can set your what your site icon now the site icon is like this one over here you see this one doesn't have any site icon okay so we want to set use this one as what our site icon so we select it and then um, we set it over there okay make sure that it is what uh, 512 by 512 okay that is the correct one so um let's publish it so as you see we have it over here now click on site title and logo settings so that we also set our what a site and then our logo now we're going to use um transparent header okay that is exactly what we are going to what what we are going to use so um i'm going to go back okay i'm going to go back and then with the header types like i said we're going to use transparent what header so i'm going to click on what the transparent header and then we are going to what, enable it on the complete what um site okay so it is what it is enabled on the site so um what we're going to do is we're just going to what publish it okay so you can decide to uh, check in um, your designs over here okay so how you want it to uh, to appear you can what uh, check it now let's go back and set our uh, our logos okay so site what uh, title and logo so we're gonna go to site title and logo over here and then we can set up what our site um logo over here okay so um we want to what set up our logo so just click on what the logo and then set up your what your logo okay so i'm going to look for my logo let it load so that after that i'll choose my logo and then i'm going to use it so i'm going to use the transparent logo over here depending on you know your website or uh, how you want it i'm going to use this transparent one and then click on select and then um definitely it's going to tell me that i should crop i'm going to skip cropping okay guys so as you can see our site logo is what is set up over there but you can still see what our um how do you call it the site title over here so we want to what we want to um disable it okay so we have to what disable it and then with the logo to we can give it what um, you know the size that we want so let's say 180 so after you've done it i don't know why it's not appearing but don't worry we can click on what on it to publish it now let's go back over here and then let's you know refresh our website and see how it looks like so guys as you can see our logo is set okay 
so now what is left is our our menus over here okay with the menus we need to um you know create menu links for it okay so that it's going to be what um perfectly done okay so um since we are over here okay what i will do is um i'm gonna go let's say i'm gonna go back to the um, back end of the website okay and then um i'm gonna go to menus over here so click on menus so that we would we will um set up our what our menus over here now let's take a look at how these menus are so if you scroll up if you scroll up now this one have what home about crypto cards plans affiliates and then what contact so home about so let's go to our menu side and then first we need to create menu so we're going to create the primary menu okay and then we set it to what primary menu over here and then we click on what um create menu okay very good so now that we have um you know set up our primary menu we need to um, add some links to it so we only have one page okay we don't have any page again just one page so we add this home page to it okay now all what the pages that we are going to use are all custom links so as you can see over here this about page leads you to the what the about over here okay and how do you do it now it's very simple we click on we go over here and then let's scroll up let's scroll up to the about side okay so this is um this is the about side okay so now what we're going to do is we click on this um six um dot over here so click on the six dot over here this one okay now we're going to go to the advanced session or the advanced side over there now you see where we say um css id and css classes now we're going to use what we call the css id okay so the css id that we're going to use is what um about so just type in about over there okay now if you type in about over here now come over here to and then the custom links okay now with the custom links we're going to use the pound sign and then write about for it okay and then over here we're going to write about okay and then right we add it to it uh, uh menu over here now the next one that we are going to um tell about is what is crypto cards okay now where where are the crypto cards this one is the what is the crypto cards so we go over here also and then we scroll down to the crypto card session okay so scroll down to the crypto card session okay so this session okay this session as you see over here is what we are talking about so this is what the crypto card session as we did it for this session and uh, for the about session we're going to do the same thing we're going to do the same thing for the what for the crypto session uh, card session so click on it just click on it okay and then go to the advance of it and then the same one the css what id okay css id just write um crypto anyhow you want to write it okay now if it is two words you want to combine make sure that you add the um the um the how do you call it the hyphen sign okay so it's um, crypto card okay so i'm going to copy it select it and copy it and then come back to our menu side and then use the pound sign okay because this one is going to be a link use the pound sign and put the crypto card over there okay so over here i'm going to write crypto cards or crypto card okay and then i'll add it to it and then the next one is what plan okay that is our plan now where are the plans this one are our plans okay so over here we click the same way you click over here go to the it advance okay and then just write plan wait 
just write plan i don't know why my network is fooling like that i don't know if it is my computer too which is slowing down but i need to check it up so don't worry everything is going well um just you know write plan okay let me update it before everything decide to go away without me knowing okay very good so now that i have updated it let me go back to the menu over here and then use the pound sign and then write what plan over here and in this one i'm going to write plan for the link test and then what um updated so now we have what um, home about you know crypto card plan um, let's look at the next one i want to see which one is, is it affiliate yeah affiliate and then contact okay so the same way we go down to where the affiliate is okay you can even use testimonials and all those things but i'm just using the most important things that i want to use affiliate okay this one is our affiliate i go to the advanced section of it and then i just write affiliate okay copy it and then come to the menu over here a pound sign over here and then write affiliate and then i'm gonna write affiliate okay and then add to it and then next one is your contact so i'm gonna put a pound sign over here and write contact and then also write contact over here and i'm gonna what um, add it to menu okay now i'm gonna go back over here and go to the contact side okay and then click on this um six dot over here and then write contact over here okay i'm going to update it and then i'll come back to the menu as side also and then click on what save menu since we've we finished what um creating our menu we have to save it okay so now that everything is saved and everything is done all what we need to do is to go back to our customization session over here and then click on what primary menu just click on primary menu okay now um with a primary menu um we have to what you know configure the menu okay so how do we configure the menu just click over here to configure what your menu okay as you can see over here it says what configure menu from here so let's click on it and select our menu that we want to use for what the primary menu okay so because we created it it's not showing over here so let's um let's let's see if the menu is what is showing let me see if the menu is not showing over here so we can refresh it okay we can refresh it and then make sure that the menu um, reflect whatever that we're doing now as you are refreshing it we can also check the main website also to see how it looks like so as you can see the menu that we created um have appeared over here okay uh, it's showing a blue color and if you look over here this one have what a sign up sign in and this one is also placed over here okay and we're going to fix all those things don't worry we'll fix all those things for you so don't worry at all okay so what are we going to do we're going to set up our menu okay so let's go to the header builder so click on header and then um we're going to check our primary menu okay let's see if our menu is um you know has appeared where we want it to appear okay so let's um, check the menu app okay so as you can see our primary menu output has really appeared over there okay so it is set up over there okay so let's go back to the what to the header builder let's go back okay so what we're going to do is we're going to position the menu um in the middle okay so that's exactly what we're going to do so position the menu in the middle drag and then you know position the menu 
in the middle over here okay and then um yeah so as you can see the menu is in the middle and then over here we're going to add some buttons okay so we're going to add um a button and then we're also going to add account okay this account yeah very good so these two things we are going to it we're going to add so yeah so let it be side by side like this okay so um we're gonna add the account and then what the button okay so for the button um click on it so that we can edit it so the for, for the button we're gonna say it is going to what so for the button we are going to say sign up okay we're gonna say sign up for the button and then um we will link it to the sign up page but for now i'm gonna make it towards um the the pound sign so if you have a script you can link it towards your sign up words page okay and then with the design we're gonna choose um our test color is going to be what white it's going to be white and then um our background color is going to be that kind of yellow color that we are using okay so make sure that you have the yellow color set up okay so let me make it a little bit um, you know darker okay so i think this is this is quite okay so um you know it's quite okay so for the font size and then for the um you know radius uh, border radius i don't want any border radius so i'm going to make it to zero and then for the font size um you can what you can check it for the font and then the font size or you can click on this um thing over here to check to to make sure that everything is what's set up so i'll click on it uh what is wrong with my machine let me let me just publish it okay guys let me publish it and then let me click on this one again and then choose the font okay and then write Montserrat so that is what I want and then for the size I'm going to choose 25 so 25 I think is too big okay so I'm going to choose let's say 18 yeah 18 is okay and then um for the weight we can you know give it a normal of a medium of let's say 500 and then for the text transform we're gonna make it uppercase okay very good so sign up okay it's done now our next one that we're gonna do is also the account okay so click on the account over here now let's see how the account also looks like so it says what sign in okay so um basically that is what we are we are going to know now let me publish this one so okay so this is what the logout view and this is what the um you know the um, login view now we want it to be what text okay so instead of uh, um um how the icon i want it to be what text and I want you to say um, sign in okay and then um, we can give a link what to it okay so you can give a link to it that is your sign in page link and then um, over here okay over here we can what we can you know um, design it the way we want it so um, the color okay the color that we want um profile text color that you want so every the color that you want you can what you can just put it over there okay so let's say we want this color okay so as you can see it says what signing over there okay so um you know the font size okay we were using what um 18 so 
font size to is quite done so now that we have this one done okay let's go to the main primary menu okay to also set that one up and then um, i think the tutorial will come to an end and our next um, video i'm going to show you how you can make this website mobile friendly and then we also do um, a small back end and then user um, um, user user um, you know interface and all those kind of stuff for for um, people who want will seriously want to use um, you know wordpress to um, to to sell cryptocurrency that is to make an investment you know website now uh, maybe some of the plugins that i will use will not um, basically do what you want it to do but if you watch the video and then you might learn a whole lot of things out of it because i'm going to use um, some other plugins to what to make sure that i achieve whatever i want to what i want to achieve okay so um let's complete the tutorial by um clicking on the um you know the menu primary menu over here and then go to design okay click on design and then let's try and then you know design um the primary menu the way we want it so with the text uh the link color we want it to be what white we want it to be all white okay and then the hover okay the hover we want it to be um you know the yellow kind of color okay so that when somebody hover on it it's gonna be the same and then um i'm gonna copy this color over here and then make it the same as the um how do you call it i'll make it the same as you know the active color okay the hover and the active color should be the same very good so now that we have this one set up um the background is okay so the font you know, we we will have to edit the font also so let's check the font out okay so with the font i'm gonna make it what the font family is going to be Montserrat. okay so the font family is going to be Montserrat. the size is going to be 16 let me see yeah 16 or 17 okay so 16 will be all right the size to be 16 and then the weight um, let's say 500 it's okay and then the text transform should be what uppercase okay all of them should be uppercase yeah very good so now that i have this one also done um with a, a menu spacing and other stuff i'm not going to um, touch on it i'll just click on what um you know publish okay now let's take a look at how it looks like on the front end so let's refresh the website and see all the changes that we've done yeah so as you can see um the website have really taken shape okay everything is what correctly what done but before i go let me go to the customize again and then um i want to reduce you know um the font size okay from 16 i want to make it like 15 okay so that um yeah 15 is quite okay 15 is quite okay and then i'll click on what publish okay guys so um after everything is done we can just um you know click on what um close to close it okay so guys um i think the video i'm gonna bring the video part one of this video to an end so this is how you can create an interface or you know um your um if you have a script like i said those who have a script already and then they want to create their own kind of interface with um, wordpress and then elementor this is how you can be able to what, create it and make it nicely the way you really want it so um i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe to the video and then join the family so that we go together now our next video is going to be how i link this one to um you know um, a backend that i'm creating for it so um make sure you watch the next video also 
and see you in the next video my name is Kobe bye bye